gotta wait. I gotta wait for the end of the song every time. I, I could have started the stream like a minute ago or it's maybe two minutes ago. I don't know. I was standing here waiting, just waiting for the music to finish because it wouldn't be right if I just appeared midway through. <laughs> so instead, I was just standing here weirdly reading your comments, uh, your chat messages. And uh, I have to say, Tick Spring, I have... <laughs> It never occurred to me to call the spinning potato the rotato, but it's so obvious. It is so obvious. I never even once considered the rotato, and I just gotta say that is, that is spectacular. I can't believe I missed that opportunity. Uh, hello everyone. Happy Easter. If you celebrate Easter, or whatever form of it you might celebrate, whether uh, you know, you do sort of traditional observances, or whether you just eat some chocolate, whatever you might do, uh, or nothing at all. But hey, I hope uh, that everyone had a nice uh, Easter long weekend, if you got a long weekend. Um, some of you might get tomorrow off as well. Uh, as a federal employee here in Canada, I do, which is nice, but I do also have other work I need to do, so I don't really get the day off. I just you know, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, hope you all have had a great weekend, hope we all had a great week, I don't know what that noise was, uh, as the last number of weeks have been, I, I didn't stream this past Thursday, and I'm gonna throw it out there right now, just at the top of the stream, and I did announce this on the Discord, but for the time being, we're gonna say that Thursdays, we're gonna assume that I won't be streaming on Thursdays for the time being. If I will have the opportunity to stream on Thursday night, I will announce it on the Discord and in my YouTube community uh, page. Um, but it's just between like work and all the wedding stuff and just life right now, Thursdays are looking a little less and less viable. So hopefully after the wedding, things look at a little easier and uh i will be able to bring back thursday streams on the regular but i just want to let you all know that's how it's going to be because i don't like having to keep announcing on thursdays like sorry no stream tonight <laughs> so if we just assume there won't be then when there is a stream on a thursday it's a pleasant surprise a pleasant surprise just wanted to get that out there off the top but uh, hey, howdy, and how are you all? Shout out to Twitch chat, hello gang. Shout out to YouTube chat, what's up, you well-behaved folks. And uh, shout out to future VOD viewers as well. It's a pleasure to have you all here now, or anticipate having you here in the future. <laughs> um, I've brought some Easter, Easter vibes for us here tonight. Not only are the Easter Bunny ears, they've got these cute little bows. These really cute little bows that I feel like just kind of ties the, the whole thing together. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but let's see, who have we got and who can I bequeath the title of Certified First Upon? Can I bequeath something that is not like an inheritance, or is that the incorrect use of that word? I can bequeath something. I can bequeath anything I want, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, okay, so I see Bruce and Pearls were here in the Twitch chat very early tonight, both of them. And Bruce asks Pearls, were you already here? And Bruce says it doesn't show anyone else here until now. And then, uh, immediate butt spotting. <laughs> and then Pearl says, I came in at 11.52. I don't know what time that is for me. I don't know how that relates to what I'm seeing there. But I'm going to say, Pearls went on to say, I came out before posting. Okay, Pearls is giving Bruce the lead tonight. I'm not quite sure what the actual timing of things was, but from what I can read here, Bruce 
certified first. Congratulations. Sorry, it's important, you guys. It's important that we sort this out. All right, there has to be some level of decorum and, you know, uh, a very analytical process to determine who is certified first. You'd think it would be simple, but it's not. It's not. Uh, so, according to my analysis, according to my analysis, tonight, Bruce is certified first. Uh, so congratulations, Bruce. Uh, Pearls certified second tonight, and coming in certified third tonight. Okay, I I think I lost some chat here because I I think someone else was in certified third, but I see John, at least in my chat. That's that's what's showing up here. But if anyone else wants to chime in and claim certified third, please go right ahead because I think I did lose some chat off the top. Uh, John, great to see you. Over on the YouTube side of things, Craig Long, certified first. Well done. Definitively. Congratulations. That one furry coming in, certified second. Hello. And certified third tonight, Nora. Nora Eld says, even though multi-streaming is a thing now, I still found myself starting the stream on YouTube before migrating over to Twitch. <laughs> it's tradition. It's tradition. You know, I gotta say, somebody, like, I don't know, last week commented on one of the pre-stream stream VODs from like a year ago. Just randomly dropped a comment, which is fantastic because those videos are unlisted. The only place you can find them is in my super secret playlist where I have them all there. They're still all there, but you won't find them through YouTube search and they don't show up on my videos page or anything. Uh, but if you know where to look, you can find all the old pre-stream YouTube streams. And uh, I just love the fact that somebody was watching one of those from like a year ago. Uh, that's pretty great. Shout out to whoever that was. I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but I thought that was pretty cool. Well, I want you to know I appreciate it. Uh, also, we got Gabe W over on YouTube and that Garibaldi nerd says I woke up to turn off my 6 a.m. alarm as no work. I'll be on the VOD later. Yo, that Garibaldi nerd, thank you for dropping on in to say hi and for being a VOD viewer. Shout out to future Garibaldi nerd. Enjoy your sleep in. Enjoy your sleep in. Uh, who else we got here tonight over in Twitch chat? We've got Tucker. Tucker, awesome to see you. Welcome, welcome. We've got the goated Vic. Hello. Good goated Vic. Uh, what's up, Nevi? We got the, oh, I was called a spintato again, but really it should be a rotato. We've got the rotato. Uh, friend of a friend. Welcome on in. Hello. Wait, is it happy? Is it trans visibility day as well as Easter? That I did not know. Happy trans visibility day, y'all. Uh, I feel like it's unfortunate that it got maybe somewhat consumed by Easter here in uh, the public consciousness, but uh, a very important day uh, to observe as well. Uh, and thank you for letting us know, friend of your friend. I did not know that. Uh, Rhea, hello. Welcome. Rhea says, welcome on in, guys. Rhea, thank you for being the welcoming squad, as always. Uh, Naga, hello. Great to see you, too. Hope you had a lovely Easter as well. Hey, we've got Gracie on tonight. Gracie, fantastic to see you. Uh, Gracie, uh, of course, one of our uh, amazing and fearsome moderators around here. Gracie, keeping an eye on the chat, making sure that you are all behaving yourselves properly. And I know that you, you do. I know that you will. But just in case you were thinking about getting rowdy tonight, you know, getting riled up tonight, Maybe you decided tonight's the night. Better think twice. Gracie's on you. Uh, Gracie, thanks for, for being here. Also, shout out to Gracie B ASMR, who is an ASMR creator as well. All kinds of fantastic content over on her YouTube channel. Uh, you can find her by searching Gracie B ASMR on YouTube. And uh, you should do so, and you should hit that subscribe button and enjoy some quality ASMR content from one of our community members. Um, Zukan Fulfur, hello. Zukan Fulfur, welcome. What? 
Look who has graced us with their presence this night. It is the night bot, but not the one that's an actual bot, the one that's actually a human. Night bot with a K. The knight in shining armor bot, aka Clay. Clay, so good to see you. How have you been, my friend? Always a pleasure to see you out. Clay has been with this community forever and a day. And Clay is also one of our awesome moderators around here, uh, a wielding, a wielding bat, a sword of justice. Uh, Tishino, hello, welcome on in. Uh, take spring, how you been? Like I said, that rotato, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. My dolphin fin was new. Uh, this is just what I needed. I'm up on the living room TV. Yo, I'm big. Big. Hold on, wait. Big Nick energy. Whoa. Up on your wall. Okay. Just had to make that happen. Um, Sargon, welcome on in. How is Sargon the Grape tonight? Bruce with a 15 stream streak. That's actually pretty impressive. That's, that's quite a few. Congratulations on maintaining that amazing streak, Bruce. You are, in fact, on a roll. Uh, hey, it's also Nicoma, Nicoma Raccoon. Queen of the raccoons here in the chat. Uh, Empress Raccoon. I don't know why my PC just made a USB disconnect sound. I'm not sure what just disconnected, but and uh also keep an eye on the chat you guys are well looked after tonight well looked after uh foxfish welcome yes nicoma it is bunny boy nick tonight you've you've met bunny boy nick in past years i'm sure i feel like i recycle these these ears every year but it's tradition now it's tradition and i like these ones i do have another pair i have these ones but these ones just stick straight up and uh, whereas these ones, they bend down. And because of the way I have my head framed, if I didn't have these kind of curling over like this, folded over, you wouldn't be able to tell I was wearing them, really. You just see the the bows on the headband, which, you know, very cute as well. But So I feel like this wouldn't show the bunny ears nearly as well. So these ones it is. These ones it is. What if I just wore both? I just wore these guys like this. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Uh, Zarban, Zarban, thank you for the 17 by 3 sub. Welcome back, Odin Zarban. Happy Easter. The mutant Easter bunny wishes you a happy dang Easter. Uh, and Zarban, thank you for supporting for another month. So very kindly helping to... Uh, you know, support and and to grow and, and strengthen the amazing community that we have here. Uh, I hope you had a great, great weekend, Zarbin. Also, over on YouTube, what is going on here? Eric, Eric Bjorkman, Bjorkman, is that, I might be mispronouncing that, I'm not sure, but Eric, thank you so much for the super chat eric says been watching your videos for about four years thank you for all you do it has helped me tremendously much love brother eric that's really really kind of you a really really cool of you to have been watching my stuff for all that time thank you for your your kind support over the years and thank you also for that super chat it is very very generous i appreciate it very very much and i hope that you continue to enjoy uh, the stuff I put out there. I hope it continues to help you. Okay, this is getting awkward. I don't like it. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Um, also over on YouTube, we've got Young Sinatra. Any more Thief videos coming up? Yeah, definitely. Not in the next week or probably even two, but maybe after that. It's coming up. Yeah, there's definitely more Thief coming. There's always more Thief coming. For eternity. We have Thief for eternity. Yo, what's up, King Blocked? Just what you needed to fall asleep. Well, I hope, I hope we 
it can help you get the rest you need, uh, the rest you deserve. You deserve a good sleep. You deserve to wake up feeling refreshed, relaxed, ready to face your week. So I hope we can help you with that. King Mayhem says, hey, it's been a hot minute since the last time I watched. Usually it's on Twitch, but it's a YouTube kind of night. And that's why this is cool. I love being able to offer the choice to all y'all. Whether it's Twitch, whether it's YouTube, it's cool that you can join us. Welcome on in, King Mayhem. Um, yo, Sargon dropping on in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tick Spring with a 25 stream streak, and then Sargon as well with a 25 stream streak. What is that about? Holy cow. Uh, Sargon says 25 stream streak, that's almost a month's worth of streams. That's gotta be more than a month's worth of streams. Given that I only stream like once a week these days. <laughs> so that's like, uh, I don't know, six months worth of streams? Is that math check out? Something like that. That's a lot of streams, Sargon. Uh, and take spring. Congratulations, both of you. Uh, Foxfish, it is great to have you out here. Welcome. Uh, Naga says the bunny ears are cursed. Are they, though? Are they? Or are they extremely adorable? I think you know the answer. All hail the rotato, you betcha. Yo, Eric, with another super chat over on the YouTube. Perfect pronunciation. Hey, I'm glad. I'm really glad. I try. Sometimes I nail it. Sometimes I, I really don't. Sometimes I really don't. But I'm glad I got it. Thank you again for another super chat. Again, extremely, extremely generous of you. Even more so, some might say. <laughs> um, Nimsy, hey. Nimsy says, hey Nick, thanks for going live tonight. Helps when not feeling well. I'm sorry that you are not feeling well tonight. But I hope, I hope that we can help you out one way or another. Just being here helps and uh, that's awesome. Glad, glad we can do that for you. Welcome on in, Neepsy. Get yourself comfortable. You're right, Rhea. It is now April Fool's Day for many of you. It is not yet for me. Yeah, another hour and a half or so. Uh... Have you been fooled by anything yet? Has anyone been bamboozled yet? I haven't seen any big April Fools from any, you know, major companies or anything. I feel like there's always a few big ones out there. I saw that Linus Tech Tips LTT, Linus Media Group, did a pretty good one, which actually was pretty funny. It was, uh, well, I'll let you go watch it, but it was pretty well done. It was very high effort, a high effort April Fools video. <laughs> Uh, for my part, I had an idea in mind, something I wanted to do, uh, but I have not had time to record it. <laughs> That's just not where my life's at right now. <laughs> so uh, I uh, regret to say uh, I do not have an April Fool's video lined up for you this year. It disappoints me uh, because I thought it would be really funny, but um, life just be like that right now, so... I will not be attempting to bamboozle you this year. Uh, I do not have any April Fools thing planned for this stream either. Unless anyone comes up with a really good idea in the next like hour and a half. Then maybe we can just... <laughs> Does it really count as April Fools if, if y'all are in on it? Uh, Sparrow86, hello and welcome. Welcome on in. In years past, I've had a lot of fun doing April Fool's stuff. Of course, I've done the, the various Doom games over the year. I reviewed a spoon once. I, uh, or wait, was it a fork? Don't actually remember. I reviewed my old ass Microsoft keyboard from like 2002. That was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, Y'all can go find those on the YouTube channel if you are looking for some April Fool's. Uh, ASMR nerd goofiness. Um, well, there's one from many years ago 
many years ago which let's just say it's a it's a makeover video I do my makeup that was my very first April Fool's video on the channel and if anyone wants to go see a beardless Nick with a beautiful face full of makeup uh, go check that out on the YouTube channel <laughs> it's, a, it's a perennial classic someone always links it every year pretty much so I uh, I'll just get out ahead of it here and say yes go go check it out <laughs> um, churchy good to see you howdy 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 my dolphin fin yes it's a brief hiatus for the next month or two on Thursdays and hopefully after that we'll, we'll be back on Thursdays more often uh, the wedding planning is going I don't like to be the guy that just talks about wedding planning, but it is dominating a lot of my time these days. We left a lot of things pretty late, so trying to pull it all together right now has been a lot in a fairly short amount of time. And yeah, I never quite appreciated how much work this, this is until, until taking this on. But uh, you know, you know, it's complicated because there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of things that have to kind of fit together very precisely with different vendors and suppliers and and um, venues and uh, and then of course all the guests you know like over we're inviting over a hundred people um, so it's pretty it's not small you know and getting all those people organized and on the same page and making sure the RSVPs are working for everyone and making sure just even stuff like making sure everyone's name is spelled correctly on the envelopes for the invitations and the place cards at their seats all that stuff just takes a lot of time getting the emails for everyone correct like it's just like shockingly involved that's all I'm going to say about wedding planning other than yeah it's going it's still coming together and it's just way more than I had imagined. Uh, Nicola says, I'm going to show up at Nick's wedding in one of the trash cans. Oh my God, though, could you imagine? Please do. If a raccoon randomly shows up at my wedding, I'm going to lose my mind. Lose my mind. Uh, guest Shush over on YouTube asks, any more beer drinking ASMR? Well, I do have a beer for tonight's stream, and I reckon in another 30 to 45 minutes, perhaps, I'll be cracking it open and trying it out. It's a beer I have never tried before. If you type exclamation mark beer in the chat, either Twitch or YouTube, you'll get a link to let you know what beer I'm going to be drinking and trying out. It looks good. Looks like a tasty one. Butts Boss says, I butt going to butt up at Nick's wedding in one of the trash cans. You're just gonna butt up at my wedding? You can't just butt up at someone's wedding. You can't just butt up at someone's wedding. It's extremely rude. Uh, hey, Pearls is in the chat. I get to see you, Pearls. Curse me. I've not been looking at my channel points requests at all. At all. Has anyone requested anything? Nicoma requested a blood sugar check. Thank you for the blood glucose check, Nicoma. That was 24 minutes ago. Mm. Trying to figure out if I've passed that or not here in the chat. 4.9 and stable-ish. As long as it doesn't drop too far from there, then that's great. 4.9 is fantastic. Um, Mountain Biker, am I liking Dragon's Dogma too? Yeah, I'm loving it, although I've barely played it this past week just because it's been so busy, but I really want to get back to it. I had a, pardon me, I had a blast streaming it with y'all last week. Would you be interested in more Dragon's Dogma 2 on the stream here, folks? Because I thought that was a very fun old adventure. We ran around in a cave and almost got murdered several times. That's all I really want out of an adventure. I thought it was pretty fun, but maybe it was not so relaxing for y'all. You let me know if you want more Dragon's Dogma too. Uh, Nevi says, wait, I'm not invisible today? 
Where were you visible previously? You spent your whole day playing Dragon's Dogma too. Nice. Nice. Uh, the Nightbot Clay says Trans Day falling on the day all about eggs is certainly <laughs> I did not think about that, but yes. It's um uh, now pardon me if I misinterpret this, but I think what you're referring to is like the slang parlance of like breaking your egg or having your egg broken, which is like Oh, when a trans person comes to the realization that they are trans? Is that correct? That's my understanding. I don't want to misinterpret, though, or misrepresent. Rhea, the weather here has been beautiful. Yeah, we had a nice, warm, sunny day today. It was a gorgeous spring day. It looks like uh, maybe it is for you, too. Um, happy Easter, mountain biker. Zokenfofer says, I'm playing some Minecraft and my friend is angry that I'm spending all of our netherite on a throne for a brick named Jeremy. <laughs> what, what else is Minecraft for if not ridiculous stuff like that? That's fantastic. Uh, I think your friend needs to chill out. <laughs> I think that's exactly what you should spend your netherite on. Uh, Ria says, Nick the Nutty Rabbit. Am I nutty? Do I look nutty to you? Maybe. Nikoma says, okay, I have my vanilla Swiss almond ice cream and my cozy blanket. I am ready for the tingles and gaming in like two hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I am going to try to get to the gaming a little bit earlier tonight. Just because I'll probably end this a little bit earlier tonight. Because even though I technically have tomorrow off, I actually have a lot of work to get done tomorrow. I have more manuscript revisions. If anyone has been following my, my story of my paper, uh, this is the first paper that I've ever been first author on. It's been a bit of a struggle to get it out there. However, the end is in sight. Uh, I got back one more set of revisions from one of the reviewers on the paper, the one who's been like actually the most helpful, but also the most like anal along the way. The one who's had the most to say, let's say. Um, but their their feedback has been very helpful, and I think it is a better paper for it. They had a few more, like about ten more things they wanted to see uh, or comment on. And then uh, they were like, otherwise, it's excellent, looking forward to seeing it published. So that, for me, I think pretty much means that after that, the editor will be like, yeah, you're good. So, but I just gotta get those last revisions in there and get it submitted like by Tuesday so that's my day tomorrow I gotta spend a, a day on that yo it's Sage I'm a grilled cheese Sage bitch what is going on Sage good to see you happy rabbit day to you how was your rabbit day weekend Sage thank you for the 29 month resubscription 29 months uh, I hope you had a great weekend Sage Xylex asks any idea when the keyboard opening vid comes out. <sighs> I wish I could give you a timeline. Every week I'm like, will this be the week? And then it never is. It's not for lack of keyboards. Like I said, I have a stack sitting here that I've been meaning to get to for months now. Um, it's just that those videos take a bit more time to do. The builds, the reviews, that kind of stuff. And I just have not had that time. If one of these weeks I can get my poop together enough to record like a week in advance and then like work on it over a two week period, then it can probably happen. But I don't want to make any promises. There will be more keyboard content on the channel. That much I can say. But whether it's going to be soon, I cannot promise. But thank you for asking, Xylax, and thank you for your patience. It's just a matter of things being busy these days. Busy, busy. Sargon says, I mean, a month's worth of streams is in like there's 30-ish days in a month. Oh, I see what you're saying. As if, if, if I had streamed every day. Yes, I get what you're saying. Indeed. Neebzy, tonight's keyboard is the one I've been using for the last while. It's the Melgeek 
modern 97 fantastic board really like this one but but i also have one uh that i just randomly pulled out pulled out from the uh the keyboard repository <laughs> which is my closet <laughs> just the other day uh because i i kind of really love how this thing sounds and feels i kind of really love it uh this is the blitzwolf bwb KB3, I think, I think, yeah, BWKB3, and uh, the aesthetic is kind of polarizing probably, but for a budget keyboard, it's available for like 80 to 90 bucks, a budget, you know, relatively affordable, under $100, uh, it sounds fantastic. a really nice sound to it and I just kind of wanted to type on it so I've been using that a little bit lately too yeah I guess this will double as an April Fool's stream uh, Sargon how do I fool you all yeah Soren Evie no hell lovers I really wanted to do that I thought it was a fantastic idea I just don't I, A I don't have hell divers B I wouldn't have had a chance to play it last week even if I did pick it up so sadly could not make it happen this year maybe next year though hopefully maybe something else will come along that will be just right um, bah, 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 bah. Uh, Curtis girl hello welcome thank you happy Easter to you as well Curtis girl I hope you've had a great Easter weekend can we get a shout out for Curtis Girl in the chat, please? Curtis Girl streams EverQuest. Yes, that EverQuest, 1999's EverQuest, as I learned last time, last stream, I think. <laughs> uh, and that's really awesome. Uh, Neebsy says you could do a keyboard review video where it's a video of a keyboard watching an ASMR nerd video and reviewing it with subtitles at the bottom. That was actually very clever. That's quite clever. I'd never considered that before. Log that one away for next year. And by that time, y'all have forgot about it, probably. I might have too, but I think that's a good that's a good one. Xylex, thank you for your understanding. DJ Luna Moondrop, hello. Easter Bunny says hi. I hope I brought you some chocolate today. If you eat chocolate or some treat of some kind. Uh, Ernesto asks if I've ever played WoW. Only a very little bit. In fact, my first time playing WoW was on this very stream uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, hey, it, was a, it was a fun experience. Had a few people from the chat join me. Um, but it's not my MMO of choice. Way back in the day, there were sort of two big MMOs duking it out. Or... Well, and WoW has always been the, the market leader, but Guild Wars came along shortly after WoW came out, and it was sort of an alternative to WoW because you didn't need to pay a subscription fee. And at the time, I did not have a credit card. I was pretty young. And so Guild Wars was my game of choice, and that's the series that I have carried on with all these years. I still play Guild Wars too, so I just never got on the WoW train. DJ Luna Moondrop says, I will give you three carrots. Oh, that's very generous. Three whole carrots. Thank you. I'll take it. I enjoy carrots. Phase Beast, what's up? ASMR egg. Unfortunately, I don't have an egg. I just got a potato here tonight. This is, I'm the Easter Bunny that brings potatoes. Why not? No less random than eggs. Or no more random. Sargon says, in the spirit of Easter, I will not do a bonk for... <laughs> Wait, when did I say ass? Did I say ass? Since that word is in the Bible. There you go. Uh, make sure you treat all your asses well. That's probably what the Bible says, right? 
TickSpring says for the 25 streams, I think I started at the same time Twitch implemented the new feature about three or four months ago. That would make total sense. And that would make sense as to why you and Sargon both did 25 tonight. And you only missed one stream since then. Um, one into the streak. Okay, so the max is maybe 26 or 27. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Anybody else out there on their 26 or 27 stream streak? Possibly. It's too bad we don't know before they implemented that feature. Because some of you could be on like hundreds. I don't even know. Oh, it takes Spring says there's at least one person ahead. Who is it? Which of you is it? Who is it? A raccoon at a wedding is a blessing. Absolutely. 1000%. Arda, Arda, thank you for dropping on in. Hello. Sorry it took me so long to see you in the chat there. I tend to be really slow. I, I fall far behind in the chat, so. Um, but, uh, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Bruce says, yeah, Dragon's Dogma is the jam. It's good. It's really good. I, like I said, I keep thinking about it, even if I haven't had time to play it. Indeed, indeed. Good. I'm glad I was picking up what you're putting down, Clay. Glad I got that right. Uh, Ria says when you had both bunny ears on, it was maybe a little bit nutty. <gasps> Normal, Nick? Nutty, Nick. It's like I've got a beard of rabbit ears. Disturbing. Extremely disturbing. <laughs> Uh, uh, Nini asks, did you see the DD2 screenshot I posted in the Discord? I did not. What happened? What, what did you, what is notable? What did you accomplish? You've been going pretty hard on that game, right? So it's probably something pretty cool. But, uh, no, I have not seen it yet. Uh... Bruce says, that's good though, you need folks like that to help you hone your knowledge. Nitpicky people, oh yeah, referring to the review of the paper. Nitpicky people always help me take inventory of my skill sets, totally. And there's no doubt that this reviewer knows more than I do about one of the sub topics in my paper. Uh, Cause like, science, it well depends on the kind of science you're doing, but the kind of science I do draws on a lot of different fields of fields of study because really my science is like kind of a part of e the ecological sciences and environmental sciences i study forest fires but forest fires touch on a lot of different things you certainly get physics the physics of combustion in there but you know and physics of you know global atmosphere circulation and stuff like that um and wind and all those you know microclimatology but there's a lot of like geography that comes into it certainly a lot of chemistry when it comes to uh not only just the combustion but also impacts of fire uh what happens to plants and soils and water uh air and then lots of biology because it's all about living stuff on the landscape and how it responds right so it, there's a lot of field of study that you have to synthesize together when studying fire and I have fully well admit I'm not an expert on all of them no one can be so you know when you try and draw these things together you know again when there's reviewers out there critiquing your stuff chances are some of them are going to know more about some of those things than you do and that's a good thing it's a good thing because it helps improve the science all around and this reviewer had some very constructive things to say um, that I think helped me improve my interpretations and understanding of what I was seeing in my data. So, and they were very, they are kind about it. So that's, that's the kind of reviewer you want, really. It's the kind of reviewer who cares and takes their role seriously and has the knowledge to help. Um, thank you, Ria. Yeah, it's close. It's close. I really, I really hope it gets published soon. Uh, Sage says, I'm just learning Dutch. So you could be lurking. Uh, I wish I could respond in Dutch and say good luck. I do 
you say good luck in Dutch? Let's find out. Good luck in Dutch. Success. <laughs> Looks like it. You just say success. It might not be how it's actually pronounced, but that's what Google Translate tells me. I wonder what the root of that word is. DJ Luna Moondrop, I'm glad you like the Easter Bunny vibe. <laughs> thanks for being here. Thanks for, thanks for your, uh, your kind chats. Nicole says, man, I think I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich with bacon tomorrow for Brecky. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think that's a spectacular idea. You see that, Sage? Getting, getting ideas into people's heads. Mauser, good evening to you. And I'm glad you like the ears. Thank you. Wait, can I do triggers with the ears? Can I? There you go. <laughs> Did someone say Evercrack? Yes, I mentioned Everquest. Sargon. That is a uh, Curtis girl in the chat. She streams it. Uh, the Nightbot, aka Clay, says my friends and I have been obsessed with Helldivers. A bunch of us had Overwatch as our go-to game, but that has left us with a bad taste in our mouths for the past year. Understandable. Uh, delivering democracy has been a godsend. My friend group is also pretty big into Helldivers these days. Our Discord is all just Helldivers memes, and I don't understand any of them. Because <laughs> I don't play uh maybe one day maybe one day i'll be able to jump in but yeah it seems like a lot of people are really enjoying it Mimi says i tried to play wow never finished the tutorial island because it just did not hook me fair enough it's a certain kind of thing it's a pretty old-fashioned kind of mmo right if that's what you want then it's probably a very good one of those but i think it's definitely pretty pretty, pretty traditional by modern standards tube of beds what is up a real egg should suffice i can go to the fridge and get an egg i do have eggs happy easter tube of bed. it's good to see you how have you been oh naga on a 26 stream streak naga you are maybe our streak leader right now you are our chief streaker number one streaker Naga the Warlord. <laughs> we definitely have a higher streak if it had been implemented earlier. Almost certainly. Arda, thank you for understanding. I'm glad you're still hanging out with us. Uh, Paolo, welcome on in. How you doing tonight, Paolo? Great to see you. Happy Easter, Paolo. Nevi says, I want to start a new game plus right now for Dragon's Dogma 2, but I also want to wait to do a, a Let's Play New Game Plus run for my YouTube channel later. Would you do any ASMR style? By the way, Nevi does ASMR over uh, on YouTube, uh, amongst other stuff, but uh, definitely worth checking out and uh, subscribing for the ASMR content and maybe a Dragon's Dogma 2 New Game Plus. Let's play. Oh, Paolo, thank you for the stretch. Oh, that is definitely worth doing. Let's all just do a little mm, stretchy stretch together if you want to. You don't have to, but it's like, I don't know. I find I get really hunched up and then I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, that's better. Roll them shoulders. One of my favorite ones is go behind the back, grab one wrist with the other hand, pull backwards and downwards. I've said it many a time, but my shoulders are always stiff. There, and yeah, where I hold my tension. So, oh, I always feel so much better. Thank you for the stretch, Paolo. Pistachio, hello, hello, welcome. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, got a stretch from Paolo. Oh, and we've got a pet EV from Rhea. A pet EV. Yeah, we can do that for sure in just a second. I'm going to try and get a little, a little further through the chat here. 
Uh, Bryce Geist, hello. Bryce Geist. It's a satisfying name to say. Uh, Bryce Geist says, I remember why I stopped tuning in. This is too soothing. <laughs> too soothing. Are you trying to get some work done, Bryce Geist? Because if so, I, I could see how this could be a little bit difficult. Or if you're driving, maybe? That's not so good. Uh, Bryce Guy says you should play Morrowind or Oblivion, though. Legit cozy games. 10,000% with you. We have a uh, Morrowind playthrough on this channel that I've been doing for a couple of years now. More than a couple. A few years. Uh, we have a character that we've been playing on for, for ages. Uh, and it is a lot of fun. We enjoy it. And it's cozy. In fact, it's probably high time for a, a Morrowind stream. We should do that soon. In Oblivion, I did have a character uh, that we were playing, a save that we were playing on, but then my modded version uh, exploded. Uh, it won't start anymore, so that save is probably dead. I'm holding out for Sky Oblivion, which is the remake of Oblivion in the Skyrim engine being made by a bunch of modders. It looks spectacular. It's supposed to be coming out next year. Cannot wait. We will 10,000% start the save in that when it hits. Bruce says you can learn stuff pretty much from everyone. In my field, I watched this junior artist perform a technique with a really unique approach. I filed that away for future use. It's a fantastic way to be. There's something to learn from pretty much everybody. It's true. Everybody has a unique experience, a unique path. Even if what you are learning from somebody is how not to do something, that's still learning. That's still learning. <laughs> Hey. Uh, Rhea, thanks for welcoming in Bryce and Bryce. It is good to see you here. The bunny ear trigger. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Sage says a lot of things in Dutch are really close to English. It's kind of fun. Bedankje. Bedankje. That's probably not how to pronounce that at all. It means thank you, but that's probably not the correct, correct pronunciation. Yeah, I have not had a grilled cheese sandwich for a while either. I could definitely go for one. Like a real nice grilled cheese sammy with some, uh, some like a sourdough, you know, like a nice sourdough and some, uh, some good tomato soup, creamy tomato soup. That'd be so good. Aeson, hello. Aeson says, I'm pretty immune to the wow hook as well, thankfully. Yeah, I guess I was too. It never really got its hooks into me. I certainly have friends though who, who went deep into that for many years. Nagus is having a goaded snack right now. Waffle PB and J sandwich. What the frick? Never even occurred to me, but now I want it. Are these like what kind of waffles are we talking here? You got like PB and J slot between a couple of egos. Where you like make waffles specifically for this. That seems like a very high effort sandwich. But either way though, it sounds delicious. Nicoma, I know you <laughs> I know you shared a clip there, but the, the preview is not loading for me sadly. I'll have to watch it after. I guess I need to know what it is. Uh Navy said, funny enough, Dragon's Dogma 2 was able to pull me away from Final Fantasy 14. That is an accomplishment. Uh, you barely touched it for the 11 days the DD2 has been out. I imagine that FF14 will have more staying power in the long run, but that's still quite the accomplishment. Also, is that the first scamp we've had this stream? Was that our first scampening? That's shocking to me. And our first scamp murder. <laughs> Alright, now it's a stream. Now we're pod racing. No, wait, now this is, this is pod racing? Shoot, my prequel memes are leaking out of my brain. Now this is pod racing. <sighs> Mauser says, uh, still watching your Thief Gold playlist, your night nightly ritual. Uh, where are you at, Mauser? Uh, are you getting close to the, the end or, or is this a rewatch? 
I should know, but I don't off the top of my head. Oh no, oh no. Someone summoned the, someone summoned the horde. <laughs> I still haven't made the scamp slaughter. Uh, <laughs> reward redemption. So we'll forever be invaded by scamps, but never be able to repel them en masse. Uh, let me go grab Eevee, because we have a pet Eevee request here. Let's do it. For Rhea, aka Claire Elford in the chat. Why am I taking these off? Because I have to do that to take these out. All right, Eevee. I almost said Eevee. All right, Eevee. <laughs> Evie. Hold on. Hold on. Evie has big ears already, but what if Evie had more ears? Can I do this? Oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Adorable. Adorable. Um, Evie says, I haven't done ASMR in a while, but I plan to start back up after the big move at the end of June. Excellent. Nice. Um, yeah, Horizon Forbidden West on PC. Oh man, it looks so beautiful. I really do want to pick that up. I never finished the first game, but I think I can probably jump into the second one without finishing the first. I think that's probably okay. I think that's probably all right. But I, that's it. I, I have negative time. So I'll probably buy it and then I'll just sit there for a while, but I could do a video with it. It is very pretty. It's very pretty. Happy Easter, Stoner Shen. Happy Easter. Um, Gavin Kelly, hello and welcome. Stephen Lay says, Sky Bolivian. I had absolutely no idea that even existed. Uh, I do not have any links off the top of my head or top of my clicky finger. But if you just Google Sky Oblivion, you'll definitely find all kinds of stuff on it. It's a huge project involving like dozens, if not hundreds, of modders. Uh, and they've been working on it for many years now. Uh, it's looking spectacular. On YouTube, look up uh, Rebel's Eyes. Rebel's Eyes does lots of Sky Oblivion videos. He's sort of the project manager for it, PR guy. If you... Uh, well, more than a PR guy. I think he organizes it, but he also does the videos. Uh, but if you just, on YouTube, just look up Sky Oblivion Progress Report, you'll get something. They're super well done. It looks incredible. Incredible. They're doing a hell of a job with that thing. Yo, Jaden, how you doing? Welcome on in, Jaden. Um... Navy is going to be doing full-time content creation after the big move. Yo, that's a big step. That's exciting, though. Evie says, that's exciting. I don't know what Evie would sound like, really. In the anime, Evie has a very high-pitched voice, sound, noise, vocalization that I can't do. My voice doesn't go that high. <laughs> Vocal cords don't go there. Uh, oh, it's only been nine days since DD2 came out? Okay, well, close enough. Yo, dead boy Jovi, what's up? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Yo, Arda, I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know, you might actually not be referring to me, but I don't I choose to take it out. <laughs> um, the mass FOMO did not help with not getting hooked on WoW. Yeah, I guess. It's true. I do kind of feel like I missed out on a piece of gaming history, having never really got into WoW. Now, I guess those Echo Waffles work well for the... Uh, the waffle PB and J makes sense. It'd be the easiest way to do it for sure. Oh man, Belgian waffles and fried chicken. I've only had chicken and waffles like once ever, and it was a it was a transcendent experience. 
Uh, I hope I get another chance. <laughs> hey, you're attractive. Welcome on in. How are you? Good to see you. It's Easter Nick. It's me. It's Nick. The Easter Bunny. I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm bringing you the treats and sweets. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like this. It's just everyone thinks the Easter Bunny sounds like real cute or something. I just sound like this. <laughs> Oh boy, I cracked myself up. Um, Mauser says, first time watching it through. I'm on the Craig's Cleft Prison Part 2 episode. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's definitely going back. Such a good mission though. Craig's Cleft is one of my favorites. A classic. There's so much thief ahead of you, Mauser. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it as we go through the years in that series. Um, your reception, that's right. That EV could hear real well, real well. Our practice is, uh, Horizon Forbidden West is the best. We made a rhyme. You should do a video with it for sure. The music is so beautiful. Just flying around exploring the world. Yeah, I actually, I have a couple playlists just on Spotify that play a bunch of game soundtrack music. I've heard some of the stuff from, well, just from the Horizon series in general, but it's really good. It's really good. It's a really beautiful world, for sure. Hey, it's Thorek. Happy Easter, Thorek. Happy Sunday. Good to see ya. Welcome on in. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the Eevee pets. It's my pleasure. Evie likes getting out every once in a while to visit. Hey, old coffee addict. Happy Easter to you, too. Happy Easter to you, too. I hope you had a good weekend. Oof, I just had a, like a... You ever have that thing where, like, your toe just... Charlie horses all of a sudden? I think that means I'm probably dehydrated. I should drink some water. My toe just did that. Um, gangsta Easter Bunny. Hey, it's me, the Easter Bunny. What's up? <laughs> uh, um, thank you for the clip. I assume that's oh, the EP sounds. Yeah, okay, fair enough. This is gonna become another stream meme. Like the, uh, I like the scamp. Hey yo, wanna buy some eggs? I got, some, I got some fresh ones for you right here, right here. Come on, take a look. Come on, look. The freshest eggs. Yeah, bunny eggs. What? Yeah, never heard of bunny eggs. Oh, okay. Things are getting weird. Um, I just hit the bottom of chat. <laughs> wow, it's only like an hour in. Um, but I do have a couple of channel points requests. I have one channel points request. It is for John. For John West Miller. Requested a name trace. John, how might I trace your name? You know, we have a variety of options here. From the pointy stick to the medium brush and even the famed big brush. The fatty, as I like to call it. Uh, and you know we can do them towards the camera, or on the microphones, or on my hand. And I know you know these things, so I don't know why I'm telling you about them, but just in case you need a little reminder. A little reminder. I'll give you those options, like so. Like so. So kind of says no. What, you don't want? You don't want my fresh bunny eggs? You're missing out, let me tell you. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate. I made it myself. <sighs> um, uh, John, if you are there, let me know in the chat what you would like for your name, Trace. But if you are not there, then don't let me know. But what I will do in the meantime is go get the beer. 
how's that sound? Be excellent to one another. I will be right back. Oh, hello. I have returned. Have you behaved yourselves? Let's see. Hmm. 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 Nope. No, you sure didn't. <laughs> you did not behave yourselves in the slightest. But, uh, truthfully, I did not expect any different. Although I will say, YouTube chat very well behaved, very clean, very unburnt. It's very, very well behaved. Oh, we're here in the Twitch chat. Let's see. Mm. Mauser with the flames. Uh, attractive with the popcorn. <laughs> Nakoma with the blastoise. Sargon with the blastoise. <laughs> uh... Attractive with the uh, watery boy. <laughs> uh, Naga lighting stuff on fire. Uh, Eyelash lighting stuff on fire. One of them, our moderators. Okay. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Rhea trying to keep everyone in line. Nikoma trying desperately to keep everyone in line. Steel Neko out there, ready to light it up. Light it up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I keep doing it, Evie. I keep assuming y'all would behave, and you never do. Eyelash is well behaved, hippos rarely make history. <laughs> I love it. Also, how's it going, Eyelash? Good to see you. I hope you've had a good weekend. Skill issue. <laughs> Luck Norris Easter Bunny will not be visiting the pyrotech wait the pyro uh pyro uh what's the word I'm looking for? What's why can't I you know someone who loves fire, pyromaniacs. Yes. That's right. No Easter chocolates, no Easter bunny chocolates for you, pyromaniacs. It's cause they melt. I mean no good. A waste, really. 
Uh, or a pyro addict, indeed, indeed. I knew what you were going for. I knew what you were going for, Attractive. I just, I also could not bring the, the word to my mind for a moment. Um, beer. I like it. It's a delicious, refreshing beverage. It's not for everyone, especially if you're underage. Definitely not for you. Or if you're pregnant or have any health condition that prevents you from consuming said delicious beverage. However, I do like to enjoy and indulge in a little bit of uh, tasty brew here on the channel, as you know. It is a tradition, some might say. And tonight the Easter Bunny is going to try, try some beer. Um, uh, I don't have an Easter beer for you tonight. I don't know if there is such a thing. I've never come across a seasonal Easter beer. I'm sure somebody somewhere does one. But I can't say I've ever seen one here in my neck of the woods. Uh, so instead I have one that just looked interesting and kind of fun. Uh, it is this one right here. The Svek. Svek Half Dark. Svek Half Dark. A Czech Half Dark Lager. I assume that this means that it is made with half toasted malts and half light malts but i'm not quite sure if i'm being totally honest i don't think i've ever had a half dark lager before uh but yeah that would be my guess so that it's a blend of roasted and unroasted malts uh it is from hoin brewing uh hoin is from here in victoria british columbia canada uh very good a uh, local staple. Uh, they have some really great uh, beers that you find on a lot of restaurant menus around here. Their Dark Matter is very popular. Their Pilsner is very popular. Um, and uh, in the wintertime, some of you might remember every Christmas season, uh, I get their uh, Gratitude Winter Ale, which has got all that writing on it, it's like thanks to, and then like a billion different thanks on it. It's kind of a holiday tradition, so yeah, we'll make some good beer. I like wine stuff. And uh, this is uh, one from them that I've not seen before. It says here, things are rarely black or white. In 1948, a young educated entrepreneur named Jaroslav Fokal was forced from his home in Czechoslovakia, blown across the North Atlantic by the cold winds of communism. He fled for his survival. Businesses were being seized, intellectuals jailed. Landing in Montreal with little more than a suitcase, he began the long journey of building a life in a vast new country far from home. The life he eventually built was not only successful, but if you fast forward two generations, his grandson is now our head brewer. That would be Sean Hoyne of Hoyne Brewing. For that, we are grateful. So thank you, Yaroslav, for your perseverance, your resilience, and your fortitude. Signed, Sean Hoyne, brewmaster of Hoyne. So I guess this is a tribute to his grandfather. Uh, what was his last name? It was... Uh... Fukal. Fukal, perhaps. Fukal? We'll go with that. Fukal. It's right there. Yaroslav Fukal. He just said, Fukal this, and he left Czechoslovakia. <laughs> for North America. Um, so this is, according to the little display here, middling in its uh, color, which makes a sense, a half-dark lager. Uh, it's on the maltier side of things, and pretty low on the hops. So, uh, should be nice, easy drinking. Um, 
it's about 5%, 4.9, so pretty light in that sense too, in the alcohol sense. So uh, let's pour it out. I'm gonna turn down the volume while I crack it open, and you know how this goes. There we go. Not really fizzing very much. It's got a nice foam, foamy sensiness on top. It smells good. It smells good. It smells malty. And I'm just going to adjust the microphones so that the pour is as crisp as possible. One moment. tulip glasses here for a pour. You bet it, Randall Lopez. You bet it. You bet. You bet it. You know it. Whatever. You know what's happened on my bottom half. Can't let y'all see that. It's against terms of service, you know. I'm just kidding. For any Twitch people, I'm just kidding. I just, they're very serious about that these days. <laughs> did you guys see, did you guys see the latest Twitch meta? Well, latest as of like a month ago, maybe where it was streamers like wearing green like green spandex shorts or green like tops and then like using them as green screens and like st like streaming a game on their various body parts like a camera pointed right here and just like streaming on their booty uh as a green screen and then twitch had to come out like last week and be like okay but you can't do that <laughs> It's very clever, but you can't do that. Oh dear. The never-ending arms race between thirst trap streamers and Twitch's poor, poor, uh, like, terms of service team. <laughs> I should stream on them packs. Oh, I just opened this shirt up, big green screen, Skyrim, on my man tits. <laughs> Alright. Let's pour this out. Here we go. This has a lovely, creamy frothiness to it. delightful fluffy head check it out mounds and mounds of foam doesn't that look nice looks very sudsy it's pretty quiet it's pretty quiet but it looks good hey smitty welcome yeah, so you snuck in just in time for the pour. Great to see you, Smitty. Them ears are bonkers. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Uh, you know, I had to just get in the mood for the day. Uh, but great to see you, Smitty. Also, awesome looking keyboard next to your name there. I love it. It's very stylish. Uh, Luna Moondrop says, uh, liked your Minecraft? Is that? Thank you. I, I have not done a Minecraft uh, video or stream for a little while, but we're probably due for another Minecraft video. And honestly, it'd be kind of fun to do a Minecraft stream as well. You're not into the beer, Luna Moondrop. <laughs> I don't know, I think it looks pretty refreshing, but I know it's not for everyone. I know it's not for everyone. But it does pour this kind of mm, light brown to deep, deep, deep copper. Um, it does look half dark, as the name claims. Uh, Ionicle99, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Just in time for the pour. Cheers, friends. Uh, cheers. Happy Easter. Happy April Fools. 
I wish I had something to fool you with, but I don't. I'm a pretty straight shooter. I just have a wholesome stream, an amazing, wholesome community, and a tasty looking beer to try. So cheers, y'all. That is quite refreshing. That is quite refreshing. That's very balanced. It's a bit malty, it's a little bit bready, but it's quite light and crisp. A little bit sweet, ever so slightly. It's nice. It's very balanced. It's uncomplicated, straightforward, easy drinking, very sessionable, refreshing kind of beer. If you want something with a little more body than your typical lager, this would hit the spot. It would be great for many different occasions. I could see it on a beach. I could see it in the pub. Kind of makes me think of a brown ale. I don't know. It's good. Sargon out there. Oh, Sargon. You know, feel free to bust out that bonk. If I deserve it, I deserve it. Yo, Grizzly, what is up? Well, come on in. I should do it. Just stream on them pics. <laughs> no, Twitch specifically has forbidden it now. I missed my chance. Uh, okay, I'm gonna readjust the mics back. One second, friends. specific warning for Twitch's new rules basically says no no streams that focus on body parts <laughs> where the focal point is a body part does this count is my head a body part is this a focal point am I breaking terms of service it's possible it's possible hope not um I don't know they said it in more official words than that you know but all right um, video games, y'all. Video games. Skyrim? Skyrim. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's play some Skyrim. Oops. One second. Oh, is that a hair flip I see? Yes, uh, we are still in a big old dungeon, Smitty. As you will, you will see. Let's do it. A big scary dungeon. Beer can be bready, Randall Lopez. Yeah, for sure. Cheers, Rhea. And attractive. Uh, Alright. So, but we are kind of by a, a cozy looking little fire here in Skyrim, aren't we? Um. What I miss here. Eyelash says I don't like April Fools. I'm enough of a fool every day. I don't need an additional day for people to prove it. That's one way to look at it, I guess. That's fair. I can I can appreciate where you're coming from. Um Bot Spot says I don't like butt pro butts. I'm enough of a butt every dub butt. I don't need an additional day for people to prove. Oh, butt spot. You are indeed a butt. Every da butt. And I know none are more butt than butt spot. Indeed. The butt spot was just talking about themselves. Come on. <laughs> Eyelash says, I have a butt sometimes. A nice butt, says Nakoma. The hair flip. The hair flip. Or, if your butt spot, the hair butt. <laughs> No, if the hair flip is okay, you do not want my hair butt. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Butt spot, please. Butt spot, please. Uh, no more streaming Euro Truck Simulator to my green screen hot pants. It's true, Steel Mecco. Never again will you get to watch Europe fly by outside the window on my ass. 
it's a real loss. It's a cultural loss. Grizzly says, yeah, okay, fair, Sargon. That was fair. You, you warned me once. I, I stepped over that line once again. <laughs> Knowing full well the bonk was coming. Grizzly says, you've influenced me, not in a bad way, to try out different beer flavors, but I mistakenly bought IPAs and I just cannot get into it. <laughs> that bitterness is just not for me. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. Finding the beers that you enjoy the most is a journey of discovery. Heavily hopped beers like IPAs are certainly not for everyone. They can be an acquired taste as you get used to that flavor profile. Maybe one day in the future you'll find yourself coming back to it. Possibly, but maybe not. It's all good. But I'm glad that you've been out there trying out some new stuff. And I hope you found some stuff that you do enjoy. Pardon me. Uh, Naga says, I live in an apartment, uh, complex, and thought I could get away with having a package delivered to my door, but it was stolen at some point today. Oh, that sucks. Ugh, people suck. Not you guys, but some people suck. I'm sorry, Naga. Amazon is replacing it. That's good. But still, I just wish people had more integrity. More integrity. I know we don't know the person's circumstances, what motivated them to do that, but I just wish A, I wish we I wish people had could have more integrity and B, I wish we lived in a society where people didn't feel it was necessary to do stuff like that but if wishes were fishes but hair flip okay, can you imagine can you imagine if you had enough hair for that oh my god Oh, it was Hippo. You're right, Sargon. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Sargon. I, I was so sure it would be you. I told you, you no know, ass bonking for Easter. <laughs> no, no ass bonking ever on, on here, really. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, eyelash. Now I'm just testing. I'm just testing the waters, seeing what I can get away with. <laughs> Thank you, Nakoma. One day that quote's gonna come up in the future randomly, and I'll be like, Oh, you probably took that out of context. All of these quotes are out of context, but that will 100% be like the context is encapsulated in the statement. <laughs> Where is Drake? Where is that guy? Where is. And Draconis. Our attractive says that's horrible. I'm sorry that happened. Humans do suck. I also got a parcel stolen, but I did not get a refund. I mean, I can understand from the perspective of a company, like why they wouldn't necessarily refund, but it sucks for everyone involved, really. Especially for, you know, you expecting to receive a thing and just having someone be a, a stinky thief. A stinky thief. Not a cool thief like Garrett, but a stinky thief. Easter Bunny's got no filter. Easter Bunny say what Easter Bunny's thinking. <laughs> Smitty says I ordered tools for work and they got stolen. Y'all got too many porch pirates. That stinks. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, hair flip. That's what I gotta do. Also, John Wismiller. John Wismiller, are you out there? I haven't seen John reply to my question earlier, so I assume John was uh, not here or was maybe uh, sleeping. Uh, but uh, uh, Rando Lopez, it's time for the hair flip. What was that bonk about, Naga? What did I say? I <laughs> know it's a butt spot. Okay, butt spot definitely deserves the bond for butt pie. Uh, something, something, plundering a booty. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. It's time. It's time for the hair flip. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Okay. 
Here we go. My hair feels limp today. <laughs> it feels like it's lacking in body. Uh, but some, some days do be like that. Could be because I've been wearing the Easter ears on it. Anyway, let's hope we can still get some good volume with the flip. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Wow. There we go. There we go. Right around, baby. Right around. Okay. And then that's just half of it. Let me go back the other way. All right. There we go. There we go. Hopefully I didn't blow straight into the microphone there. Sorry if I did. And the pièce de résistance. Blue steel. <laughs> um, I hope that was as alluring as, as it was intended to be. How alluring was it intended to be? That's for me to know and you to decide. <laughs> uh, a medic, you know, stop just in time for the flip. Uh, glad you made it in time for the hair flip. Yo, Mauser, welcome to the YouTube side of things. It's definitely quieter over on YouTube. But maybe that's what you're looking for right now. Maybe that's what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, but it's just a, a menace out there today. The butts are all out of stock. <laughs> Wait, are the bonks actually out of stock? I forgot that there was a stock of bonks. A bonk stock, if you will. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> We've bonked ourselves right out here. Fresh out of bonks. <sighs> Every once in a while, Boss Bot decides he's just taking no prisoners. Wakes up and chooses violence, etc. Nicoma says, 8 out of 10. Shaky landing, but great effort. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was. Both ways. It was a little shaky tonight. You are correct. I overshot. I overshot. Yo, Rando Lopez, thank you. Yes, queen. Stornishin, I used to, I used to have a headbanging uh, redemption here on the channel, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Uh, these days, it hurts my neck. I can't headbang like I used to. I don't know if it's because I've headbanged too much over the years, or it's because I don't headbang enough these days. Maybe my neck muscles have just atrophied to the point that I can't do it properly anymore. But I don't really go to metal shows very often anymore. Uh, so whatever the case is, it, it hurts my neck. Sad but true. Sad but true. Uh, Koala says, take the wig off respectfully. <laughs> I wish I, I could. I just, it doesn't come pretty stuck it's pretty attached uh welcome on in welcome on in um who have i gone and seen who have i uh, what metal shows have i seen oh my gosh lots um gosh who have i seen over the years um I have seen, I'm trying to think of like what the biggest names that people would recognize are. Uh, I've seen Slayer. I've seen Rob Zombie. I have seen Tool. Uh, and I've seen a lot of smaller bands that people might not know, but not like small, but like not as popular. I've seen Epica, Insomnium, Elveti, Opeth. I've seen Opeth. I've seen Dream Theater. They are not small bands. Those are big bands. Um, I've seen Between the Buried and Me. Uh, I have seen uh, Animals as Leaders. Very, very cool. Um, I don't know. 
a bunch of bunch of groups, a bunch of bands. Alestorm, I've seen Alestorm, uh, but those are some that come to mind. Fantastic shows, all very cool. Yo, Slabloo Demon, what's new? What's new? And this in ya fly girl, <laughs> we are drinking tonight. Uh, this right here, Svek Czech Half Dark Lager. It's good. It's very easy drinking. Nice and crisp. Well balanced. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Oh, I've seen Nightwish. I met Marco from Nightwish. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, it doesn't what now? What did I say, Starter Shen? I don't know. I will. <laughs> we'll just let that one slide. Sad but true, Bruce. What? The headbanging situation? Rather sus energy in here tonight. I agree. Y'all sussy. Oh, I've, I put on some bunny ears. And y'all just can't control yourselves. What? What? Tool was a fantastic show. I've seen them more than once. I've seen Tool a couple of times. I've seen Nine Inch Nails, which is not metal. They're industrial, but uh, also very good. Um, Ailstorm was a lot of fun. It was incredible. Ailstorm, I was, I was concerned uh, at that show because everyone was dancing so vigorously and like everyone had like their arms around each other and was like in a line, like doing a line dance kind of thing or like a, I don't know what you call that, but um, and I could literally feel the floor of the venue, like flexing, <laughs> like bending every, like on every beat, because they're always just doing this. I was a little concerned we might all fall through the floor into some kind of basement and die, I don't know, but I could literally feel the floor flexing. But it was very good energy, that was a pretty fun show. That was a pretty fun show. Absolutely, Starship. Uh, Sargon says, speaking of the, of metal, I recently discovered a Mongolian band called The Who. Yes, The Who is really fun. It's like Mongolian folk metal, yes. Traditional Mongolian instruments and throat singing, yep. Yep, it does have like almost a country vibe sometimes, a little bit. It's a very like, they're like on the rock side of metal, but they definitely incorporate a lot of those Mongolian folk elements. And they're, they're very cool. I love what they're doing. Yeah, very unique. <laughs> That's right, Naga. They do have that song from Jedi Fallen Order. It's the one that Cal Kestis is listening to at the beginning of the game. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, I did not know they had one in Jedi Survivor. Sly Blue Demon says, I'm a hard cider man. I also like mead, wine, and liquor, but beer never appealed to me. Fair enough. Everybody has things they enjoy, things they don't. For a long time, I was not a big fan of beer, but I can say in my experience, at least, it has very much been an acquired taste. Um, but once I drank enough of it in university, I got over that hump, then I started to enjoy craft beer uh, for the diversity available. For a long time, though, I actually was not a big beer fan. Uh, Smitty, have a great night. Thanks for chilling with us. We'll catch you later. Sleep well, Smitty. Have a fantastic week. Thanks for showing on up again. Oh, Bruce, I gotcha. I thought you were saying sad but true about getting old and not being able to headbang anymore. Uh, what's the difference between mead and beer? Asks Bruce. Good question. Mead is made with honey. It's a fermented honey beverage, so mead tends to be very sweet. Not always, though. You can't have drier meads where more of the honey has been fermented away. But uh, it's it's pretty different than beer. Both are alcoholic, but um, a very different flavor profile for sure. Whereas beer, of course, is you know incorporates 
grains, malt, usually barley, primarily. It can be other things. You can have a wheat beer, but yeah. So meat is made with the honey. All right. Okay. Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls Five. Elder Scrolls Five. Skyrim. By the way, we totally missed the Elder Scrolls 30th anniversary. I think that was the last weekend. Elder Scrolls has turned 30, y'all. Now, I have only been playing the Elder Scrolls since 2002. <laughs> so, um, I have not been partaking in the Elder Scrolls for its entire 30-year history. I have gone back and played a little bit of Daggerfall. In fact, I played a little here on the channel. We streamed it once upon a time last year, I think it was. Um, we didn't get that far. It's kind of hard to get into. <laughs> Maybe we should try it again sometime, though. Maybe we should try it again. I do enjoy games of that era, but it's a pretty different thing. Morrowind was really where the modern Elder Scrolls formula crystallized. You can see a very direct lineage from Morrowind to Oblivion to Skyrim. And in their uh, announcement uh, celebrating the 30 years of the Elder Scrolls, uh, Bethesda did mention Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> they did mention it. They said it is playable internally, and developers are playing it and loving it for all the classic Elder Scrolls reasons, is basically what they said. And I was like, okay, all right. I, uh, I have to say, I have less faith in Bethesda than I did previously to deliver on a good Elder Scrolls 6. And part of that is where they're at as a developer in their, like, life cycle of a developer. Part of it is also, I don't know, like, any time that there's a game that is as hyped up as Elder Scrolls 6, and the wait, the gap between games is so long, I think it becomes impossible to meet expectations. I can't imagine a scenario, because I don't think, I don't even think people know what they want anymore, you know, um, out of a new Elder Scrolls game. And uh, so I think they've kind of backed themselves into a bit of a corner that way. Um, they've also demonstrated that they are really, they really have a way they develop games and they really don't want to deviate from that way. And that way is feeling more and more dated as time goes by. I'm not saying they can't learn new tricks. I'm not saying they couldn't change the way they do things and make things feel fresh, but I'm saying I don't know that they will choose to. So, all that is to say, I'm still really excited for Elder Scrolls 6. I still really want to know what that game is going to be, and I will probably still play the crap out of it whenever it arrives. But, as more time goes on, I feel like the uh, certainty of it being an absolute banger starts to fade, you know? Which is too bad. It's too bad. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they went and did their thing with Starfield and got to make the game that they had wanted to make for so long, but I, I think they also sort of lost their opportunity <laughs> with Skyrim, or the next Elder Scrolls, in the process. Because... Uh, uh, how old is Elder Scrolls Five now? Skyrim is now uh, twelve years old. No, oh, almost thirteen years. Well, it'll be thirteen in November, so a little over twelve years old now, I guess. Which is crazy. If you had told me back in two thousand eleven, like when you consider how impactful Skyrim was, like it was a cultural phenomenon, and it has had an enduring impact for years and years and years. It set the blueprint for what open world games would be for the next decade and other games have taken that and built on it from Witcher 3 to Breath of the Wild and many many others but um you know but Skyrim really laid that foundation and was a watershed game and 
it has so much cultural cachet. But I feel like over the years that has evolved from being, is evolved from being, you know, the pinnacle of that kind of example of game to being more of a meme and a punchline. <laughs> because as you look back on these games, it start to feel a bit dated, you know. Um, and I think a lot of what Skyrim did feels very uh, played out now. It's kind of the Seinfeld effect, right? Where people say Seinfeld isn't funny. But really, it's because it did a lot of things first, or it, it did them well in a way that really broke mainstream, right? So, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But point is, I really want Elder Scrolls 6 to be good. I, I'm less confident than I used to be that it's going to be. But whatever it's going to be, I'm going to be there for it, because I want to know. Um... And it's pretty cool that The Elder Scrolls has been going on for 30 years. It has, without a doubt, been one of the most, if not the most, influential games in my personal gaming history. So, or series, I guess. Not games, but... Alright, that was very long-winded of me. Uh, Fire Goals, this is Happy Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. I also did not know that it was that. Apparently yesterday was Trans Day of Awareness or Visibility. Uh, Day of Trans Visibility. <laughs> Am I getting the branding right here? I'm not sure I got the wording right, but you know what I mean. And uh, Fire Goals, a thank you for letting us know that April is Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. That's very cool. And I think there is a lot more mainstream awareness, mainstream public awareness and acceptance of autism than there ever has been. Granted, that's a layman's perspective. I, that's just my, my perception. Maybe that's not true, but it seems that way to me. Fire goals, a thank you for the blood sugar check. Uh, it's, ooh, it's a little on the low side. It's 3.8, which is technically, technically hypoglycemia, but it's like right on the line. 3.9 is considered okay. 3.8 is considered low. I'm going to keep an eye on it. It might swing back up. Sometimes it does. But if it keeps going down, then I will have to do something about that. Uh, Nicoma says, I'm going to sleep land. All right. You have commissions to finish tomorrow. Best of luck with that. Nicoma, I hope those are going well. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for chilling with us. Thank you for keeping an eye on the chat. Can we all have a big hug for Nicoma? Thank you, Nakoma. Let's all say it together. Thank you, Nakoma, for being an awesome mod. Our attractive says it's sad, but I agree uh, about what I was saying about Elder Scrolls. I think, you know, yeah, it's too bad. Grapple says we had our staff play the game they're making, and they said the game is good. Yes, of course, that is a silly thing for them to put out there, but. It is what they said. Bolos, welcome on in. Welcome, Bolos. Uh, Zarbin says, Hey, Nick, is a D2 ASMR stream in the cards? D2. Diablo 2? Dragon's Dogma 2? Some other 2? Destiny 2? Destiny 2 would probably be the one you mean. I'm not sure, though. There's a lot of things that could be D2. In my mind, it's Diablo 2. That's D2 to me, but... Destiny 2 is a stoner shen. No, Zarba, this is Diablo 2. <laughs> okay, alright. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Um... I streamed Diablo 2 Resurrected like once a long time ago, but I'd be happy to do it again. I love Diablo 2. It is one of my toppest games of ever, so we could definitely do another one. I always love Diablo 2 vibes. So sure, why not? Why not? Uh, Zarbin also says, P.S. I saw you in Valley Village a couple weeks back. Almost certainly yes. Uh, looking at the books, absolutely. Yeah, you certainly saw me there. 
I would have said hi, but I was checking out and I had to head home to the wife and kids. No, sorry, but I hope that if you ever see me again, you get the chance to come up and say hi. That would be so much fun. And don't don't be shy. Uh, it's not weird or anything, unless I'm like in the middle of something that would make it weird. But like, if I'm just hanging out, looking at books at Valley Village, anytime, uh, feel free to come on up and introduce yourself. Um, funnily enough, I ran into another member of this community uh, like a few months back at Valley Village while I was looking at books. <laughs> I spent, I guess maybe I spent too much time looking at books at Valley Village, but I like to. There, there's so many books there. Um, it was uh, Go Punch the Walrus. Y'all remember Walrus? Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, totally Zarvan. Hope I see you sometime, uh, out and about. Mr. Sky, welcome on in. Stoner Shin says, my grandmother had a diabetes scare this week. She almost did not wake up. That is scary. I'm sorry for your grandmother's close call. I hope that she has a, a monitor, um, and I hope that, uh, she's keeping a close eye on her blood sugar now. Also, if she, certain kinds of monitors... Let other people also get your blood glucose data on their phone and it'll transmit it to them in real time. So that is one possible way to have other people monitoring her blood sugar uh, as well. So just a thought. I don't know how she's got it set up, but. Okay, we should play some Skyrim, huh? I've been standing here uh, doing nothing for quite some time. So you might recall, you might recall that we are in a big old dungeon. Uh, this dungeon is uh, on the island of Worm's Tooth. This is Worm's Tooth. This is part of a mod called Worm's Tooth. We are here hunting a dragon. This dragon basically kicked our asses and then taunted us. Uh, this dragon has been attacking uh, e uh, East Empire Company shipments and uh, communities all over northern Skyrim. And then it basically uh, taunted us, uh, kicked our butts, and then said, Yo, I'm flying off to Worm's Tooth. Come get me if you can, loser and then flew up here. So we came here chasing this dragon, and uh, we spent some time wandering on this island. We've been playing this mod for like, I don't want to say the better part of a year now. <laughs> There's quite a bit of content in it, actually, and this particular dungeon, Worm's Tooth Barrow, has been a very long one. A very long one. But I think we're near the end. I think we're near the end. My understanding is that we are approaching the conclusion of this dungeon and it would be nice to get out of the depths here because I feel like we've been down here for too dang long too dang long uh, Sargon says being autistic myself I think the acceptance of autism is a bit of a double-edged sword it's given a lot of people the impression that it's always the severe kind so I've occasionally been accused of faking it for sympathy points. Yeah, that's a terrible take. <laughs> it's a really bad take. Uh, I'm no expert, but is that not why they call it autism spectrum? Uh, because there's, you know, a, a wide range of ways it can manifest to varying degrees. But, uh, yeah, I could see how that could be a double-edged blade for sure. Also, a beautiful scamp beautiful scamp. Digital Darling asks, what kind of books are y'all looking for? Uh, really good question. I look for whatever catches my eye, and I have way more books than I have time to read, <laughs> but I spend time looking for, uh, like, antique books that I think just look really neat. Uh, we actually have lots of books here from, um, I think estates and you know, older folks who pass away and their family doesn't know what to do with their book collections that might be, you know, that might go back a hundred years or more. 
and so they just donate them to places like Valley Village and um, so it's not uncommon for me to find books from you know the late 1800s like I will straight up find like Victorian era books just sitting on the Valley Village shelf for like five bucks uh, that happens and I, I generally uh, you know keep an eye out for that kind of stuff in case there's anything that looks really interesting um, and then I also look for a lot of uh, like history books uh, typically uh, is what I'm keeping an eye out for but anything that seems interesting really oh that's good that's very good of your aunt Stoner Shen that's also a big a big commitment on your aunt's part I'm glad she's looking after them Skylar hello and welcome Zarbin says it was kind of funny we were talking about looking for books up at Coombs the week before uh, on stream yeah the bookstore up there is rad and you asked if I go to Valley Village to look for books literally the next time I go to Valley Village I see you there I'm nothing if not predictable I guess uh, nothing if not consistent that's fair stoner Shen that's, that's a totally fair take the couch god thank you for the follow welcome on in blessing and a curse interesting same for Sargon Sargon says, from my understanding, once they published the DSM-5, it got rolled into the spectrum as high-functioning. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like a lot of that stuff is very much still evolving, the way these things are identified or diagnosed and uh, classified, you know. But, again, I'm no expert. <laughs> this Falmer is looking real dead here. So, yeah, we are down here looking for a dragon. I hope we find a dragon soon, because I'm getting kind of sick of this place. We've been down here for a very long time. A very long time. Stoner Shen says, for me personally, the fact that I'm able to hyper-focus on something that really interests me feels good, but at the same time, if it's something important that I don't find interesting, I can't focus on it. Yeah, I could find that being really challenging. For sure. Sure. Do that. Alright. The heck was that I just heard? Very growly sounds. What's through this door? What is this place? This dungeon has been going on forever. Spear Centurions. Kill him, my friends. Murder. Yo. I just let my crew take care of the bad guys, you might have noticed. I just let them do the wrecking for me. I barely have to lift a finger, it's great. Yo, Mr. Roger Sweater. Welcome on in our most cozily and wholesomely named community member, Mr. Roger Sweater. Thank you for, oh God. Oh wait, he's already dead. <laughs> uh, thank you for the 21 month resub. And welcome back on in Mr. Roger Sweater. How was your Easter weekend? I hope it was a good one. Two minutes time, our time zone is going to get quite foolish. Oh, happy April Fools, y'all. 
It is, in fact, April Fool's now. Happy April. Uh, I wish I had a fool for you. The only fool here is me. Naga says, I'm reasonably sure I could be on the spectrum, but I don't want to self-diagnose. I know I have ADHD for sure, though. Yeah, I think... I, I don't know enough to say. I have wondered, too, if... If I could be on the spectrum as well, but again, I don't want to self-diagnose. I'm certainly not knowledgeable enough to say. I think a lot of people maybe do wonder that or do feel that way and don't have the knowledge or the access to the, you know, uh, medical expertise to say. Um, but, you know, maybe that is also part of the uh, challenge of uh, you know, autism awareness becoming more ingrained in the public consciousness. Uh, a lot of people being like, oh, well, maybe me too, but, but not, you know, maybe misunderstanding what that means or, or what to look for. I don't know. I'm pretty uninformed. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Uh, hey, Serena. Happy April Fool's Day to you. Uh, Bruce says, the thing is, this game is like their masterpiece. It's going to be hard to compete with themselves on this. Absolutely. Yeah, their own legacy. Uh, oh, gosh. What is it? Oh, okay, sure. Resurrect a uh, former Night Prowler for myself. Yeah, their own legacy is something they're competing with. There's no no doubt about that. Um, we could be the last year you made. What was that quote? Oh, I don't know what that context was. That's so long ago now. Cosmic Cody says, I feel like way more people are on the spectrum than we realize. Maybe so. Maybe so. Oh, very dead. Our tractor says, I'm really nervous for Elder Scrolls 6 because of how much I love Skyrim. I just really hope it's good. Same. Same. I just really, I would love it to be Bethesda's masterpiece to top their previous masterpieces I would love for them to prove all the naysayers wrong <laughs> those who have said they've lost their ability they've lost their touch uh, and I would love for it to be Todd Howard's swan song masterpiece because uh, you know it would be his final Elder Scrolls game almost certainly and uh, you know as much as people meme on Todd Howard uh, he has had a remarkable impact on games, and he is a remarkably capable designer. He does have his ways that he likes to go about things, um, and you know, as time goes on, I think that's starting to. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Why aren't you all following you guys? I think those are starting to show the show the seams, you know. Oh, what? Oh. Hmm. Well, it just crashed. <laughs> Ironic I'm talking about Elder Scrolls showing seams <laughs> and something. It crashes. Now, to be fair, that has nothing to do with Bethesda. It has everything to do with my mod list. Uh, so, there's that. Uh, but let's, let's fire that back up again. I'll probably have to start from where we loaded the save today, but that's okay. We barely did anything, really. Denied Pancake, hello, welcome. Wolf ASMR, hello and welcome. Yes. Oh no, the game is just broken. Unfortunately, it is so. This mod has been a little bit crashy, actually. We have encountered a handful of crashes with this mod while playing it, so maybe more than a handful. Uh, it does seem to have that issue. Again, I don't want to blame the mod necessarily. 
It could be my bot list being a big teetering tower. The scamps are certainly upset about this, this uh, having come to pass. Uh, it's just loading up, by the way. It takes a while to start because I have a lot of mods, so. But it should be going again soon. Soon. Um, Thorek, Thorek, you have yourself a good night. Happy Easter. Happy April Fool's. Uh, thanks for coming on out. You got to see a bit of gameplay again tonight. What a, what an incredible thing, Thorek. Uh, sleep well. Have a fantastic week. We will see you next time. Take care. All hail God Howard. Yes, again, Todd Howard gets memed, you know, memed on so hard these days, but, uh, he really is, uh, you know, uh, luminary in game design, uh, and he's left a remarkable impact. Oh, yep, okay. We are starting from where we left off, or where we loaded today. That's okay, though. Let's go, go, go. Let's speed run what we just did. We didn't do that much, so. Not difficult, not difficult. Especially when my crew just destroys everything. Just wrecks it all. I don't have to touch anything. Did we go over here? Was there anything interesting over here? Um, I don't know. Also, Wolf ASMR, how are you? How are you? Beanard, happy Easter to you as well. Beanard says, I gotta play a Bethesda game one of these days. Is Skyrim the best one to jump in with? It's certainly the most... Well, I don't want to say it's the most modern Bethesda game, but it is, you know, it's probably their masterpiece, and I would say it's better than any of the ones that have come since. So yeah, I would say Skyrim is a, oh wow, we missed these guys, no wait, what? Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Those are my dudes. <laughs> I just went in a loop. Uh, yeah, Skyrim is a, a definitely a, a classic, a great one. Also, with a spectacular modding scene. Uh, but I do suggest you play it without mods to start with. Yeah, the game totally heard me. It's true. Don't blame anything till we see my inventory. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're talking about my... Uh, 9,519 weight worth of stuff. You're talking about... All of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's probably time I it's probably time I took a break and or I took a a bit of time to sort through my inventory. You're you're not wrong. Oh my god, it keeps going. How many items do you think I have? Probably over a thousand easily. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm legitimately not sure. Uh, Mr. Roger's sweater, thank you all again for that rain. It is very nice. I do love the rainy vibes. I do love the rainy vibes. I love that I just don't have to do anything. I'm literally just letting my crew kill everybody. It's great. What the frick is this? Did you guys see that hawk? There's literally a hawk flying through right there. That doesn't seem right. There should not be a hawk down here. Also, let's let's make a point of quick saving. Uh, Beanard says, OMG, I was gonna ask if I should use mods and you answer my question without me asking. I do think, I mean, mods are spectacular. There's so much cool stuff out there. I just think that it's worth experiencing Skyrim, you know, as it was originally intended to be before diving into mods. You could download some, uh, like, quality of life or just, like, bug fix mods, like uh, uh, the unofficial Skyrim patch or something. Uh, and there's some others like that that help improve performance and stability and those sorts of things are probably worth doing 
um, but I wouldn't download anything major until you've at least experienced the game a bit in its unmodded form. That would be my recommendation. But, you know, everyone does their own thing. There's really no right or wrong. Uh, Wolf ASMR says, I've been great. Just enjoying the night and unwinding. Been a long time viewer, but I'm more of a ninja watcher. Ninja watcher. Well, thank you for being a long time part of this community, lurker or otherwise. We love our lurkers around here as well. Wolf ASMR, am I subscribed to you? I think. It just crashed again. That's not a good sign. I think I just quick saved, so that's good, but uh, we are reaching dangerous levels of instability here. I hope that we don't have a situation where we can't complete this dungeon. That would be a real bummer. In the meantime, you'll get to watch a black screen actually here. Let's fix that. Let's just go. There we go. Ta-da! It's Big Nick Energy. Unexpectedly. Uh, Wolf, let me see. Let me see. I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am subscribed, but I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. Oh, I totally am. I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember watching one of your controller unboxings in your Series X unboxing. I think I checked that out. And, uh, uh, your LEGO Star Wars gameplay from a while back. Looks like you haven't posted anything for a while, but yeah, I've totally watched some of your stuff. Your dual sense unboxing. Um, are you uh, are you done out of the ASMR business these days? Um, Zora Frozen, Zora Frozen. Thank you for the eight month resub. Welcome back on in for month number eight. Next month, you will get to name your baby Potato. Your little spot, if you want. You guys hear that music? You guys hear that music? Skyrim's back up. Uh, let's see if we can avoid the crashing this time. I am not confident that we will. Uh, Couch God says, I feel like I'm probably on the spectrum and my doctor thinks so too. Um, Asperger's specifically. Uh, but I just haven't seen a reason to get diagnosed. I am who I am, and I don't think that being diagnosed would change anything. That's totally fair. Yeah. You know, if, if you feel that it is not something that's going to make a difference for you one way or another, then I think that's fair. It seems to me, anyway. Oops. Um, although, again, I'm no expert, but that, that seems like a reasonable take. Um, all right, this is where I crashed last time. Okay, all right, we made it across that threshold without crashing. Ow! Oh, oops. Wow, that was a mess in here. I do not want to. I'm just letting my guy, my crew, take care of it again. Ow! Rude. Rude. Why am I looting these fall murders? There's really no reason. There's no reason whatsoever. Wow, murder. Brutal. Uh, Naga says, yeah, that inventory is just a constant dice roll to see if the game will crash. <laughs> Interestingly, it almost never crashes when I open my inventory. It's almost always when we're doing something else. So it couldn't possibly be to do with my inventory. Wow, how does this adventure make it down here? Yo, that's a lot. Uh, oh, that's boiled chitin. I thought that was dragon bone armor. Potion of extreme healing, though. Very useful. Some fun armor here, actually. Eh, I think we'll just take it all. That's why I gave myself, like, 10,000. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of dead adventurers down here. Digital Darling, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to our awesome community. He said modestly. Uh, 
It is an awesome community, though. Uh, I thought you said you said that like a year ago, but it's too late now. You're never going to sort that crap. I did once. I did it. I want to say I did it about a year ago when I was like, oh, I should really sort this. I totally did sort it. It's just grown since then. <laughs> Maybe it was a couple of years ago that I did it, but I did sort that inventory at one point. Yo, this is cool armor too. Ein Herr Yar Plate Chris. Very cool. Uh, let's just take it all. <laughs> just gonna... Why do you think all these, all these folks freaking died? Yo. Oh wait, that's my dude, that's Shark. <laughs> I was like, yo, there's one of them left alive. No, that's just my bruh. Yo. Chill, lady, chill. Ebony mage on armor drop, cool. Some neat, neat stuff these adventurers got here. Um, Beanert says, yeah, uh, that's also what I was wondering about, like if there were QOL mods. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if I can play Skyrim with what, in, without Inigo now. Yeah, you could play it with Inigo for sure. Your first playthrough, go for it. And he goes, not going to change anything so dramatically of the, you know, the initial experience. I mean, like, he'll make it better, but I mean, like, he won't alter what's there, I guess is what I'm saying. These guys are wearing lots of cool stuff, so I'm just going to keep taking it all. Should I be more concerned that there's so many dead dudes in here? Heroic Stormcloak gauntlets. Yeah, those are kind of badass, like Wolverine gauntlets. Lots of potions. Ebony Vagabond Dusk Armor. Is that better than what I'm wearing? It's light armor. Let's find out. Uh, I should really be quick saving, like, religiously here. Given how crashy this has been. <laughs> that I'm offering in my inventory. No, Varnafell glass is still the best stuff I got. Although Vagabond Dusk Armor is not much worse. Not much worse. It's close. If I wanted to change out my looks a little bit, I definitely could. I definitely could. Yeah, that is a very appropriate uh, Drake quote. Absolutely. Very in character. That man myth. <laughs> oh, I miss Reggie. Do you guys remember our man myth? Do y'all remember the man myth? Some of you might not. It's been a while since we've had Reggie around. Actually, now that you mention it, where the heck is Reggie? I guess we just have been in this dungeon for so long that we we haven't oh, watched my guys absolutely wreck these dudes. Oh god. That's... That lady's crazy. That lady is truly insane. one talking about burning flesh, you know. Uh, Bruce said, yeah, this game is like when a band puts out a masterpiece album and then just struggles to make lightning strike twice. Yeah, like their, their follow-up stuff has not been bad. It's just not lived up to the, the heights. It's not matched the heights of Skyrim. And maybe it never will again. I don't know. Maybe it was just a uh, Maybe it was just a time and place thing. Maybe that time has passed. I don't know. I think they still have a genuine passion for what they do, but I think it's not necessarily translating into super strong games. Okay. Oh, big door. What do you think is going on in here? Let's quick save. Uh, Wolf ASMR said, 
yeah, I've been MIA since my sister had her second child. House has been very active, so it's hard to get anything recorded. That's fair. Uh, and on my third year in college and focused on that. Also fair. Life happens. Uh, but you'll return to it eventually. Awesome. I look forward to it when you do. But uh, yes, totally. Life happens. Also, this looks different. This looks different. Oh my gosh, it goes down further. Oh, more dead adventures. That's probably fine. <laughs> they were clearly weaker, inferior. That witch plate stuff is really cool too. Maybe we should change our, change out our fit. I feel like we've been this, we've been rolling with this fit for a very long time. It is very cool armor, but don't mind any go just vibrating off to the side here slowly quivering or rapidly quivering as the case may be but yeah maybe it's time for some some new drip anyway maybe by the time once we finish this dungeon maybe we'll uh we'll take a, a some time to assess what we've accumulated the riches we have gathered what we might like to wear. Okay, well, we're gonna take another big elevator, y'all, and go even further down. Uh, so let's let's do a hard save here. Uh, 15k. It used to be 10k, but I ran out of that. You're right. You're right, eyelash. I did increase it. And I'll probably increase it to 20. I'll do it again. I'll, I'll freaking do it again. <laughs> oh dear. Bruce says, I love how your homies just show up in front of the camera and just stare at you. Yeah, they really don't understand personal space. The concept of personal space, they really don't. I got the pronunciation right. Oh, in tonight's video, good. I, I thought it, I did, but I just wasn't 100% sure. But I'm glad I nailed it. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Yurail, Yurail, how you doing? Welcome on in. Yurail, thank you for, how many months is that? How many months is that? 31 months, holy smokies. Yurail, thank you for 31 months of super kind support, of being a rad part of what we have here, uh, and of coming on out to, to hang out with us. Uh, wait, did I actually save there? I was going to say I was going to save, I don't know if I actually did. I don't think I actually did. I'll do it again. Naga with a gift sub to Falkor. Falkor. Hey, it's Falkor. Falkor, welcome on in. Naga, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Falkor. Falkor, it's great to see you. Falkor says, hey, Nick, this is exactly what I need right now. I'm glad that we can bring you what you need to wind down. Uh, Falkor, uh, I hope you've been well. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, and I see we already got a shout out, but shout out again to Falcon, who uh, is an awesome ASMR streamer here on Twitch. One of my faves, uh, Falcor, does a whole lot of soft spoken reading of classic novels, as well as just chill hangout and chat streams. Uh, and the vibes over there are, as we like to say in the biz, immaculate. Immaculate. So cozy, so warm, so welcoming. Very, very tingly, so definitely go follow Falkor. Do yourself a favor, improve your life with that follow. It's as easy as a click or two or a tap or whatever your platform of choice is. Um, but it's great to see you, Falkor. Thanks for joining us here. And thank you for shouting out Falkor. I assume that was eyelash. All right, let's head on down. Let's activate the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Yo, what? What is happening? Uh, oh, I did not expect this to be what would happen. Okay. We're filling up this room with water, apparently. That's kind of a neat mechanic. I didn't know the engine could do that. I legitimately didn't think it could do that. 
How high up are we going? When does it stop? We're still going. We're still going. Happy Easter and April Fools to you, Yurel. A two in one. It's a twofer. Okay, we we did it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's quite dark in here, but I think this is where we have to go. Let's get some light. You are drenched indeed. Also, the rain. Good call, our attractive. Oh hey, I think I missed a couple of channel points for Deems, actually. I'm also really impressed that my entire crew managed to follow me up here. Like they didn't get stuck and drowned down there somewhere. So I thought that was going to take us further down, but it actually brought us up. Brought us up. Whoa. This is looking cool. And chilly. Uh, but before we get into whatever's happening here, let's, uh, oops. Nope. <laughs> there. Let's. Uh, check that there, channel points, redemptions. Uh, we have a blood sugar check from Fire Golza forever ago. Fire Golza, thank you. 4.6. Remember how I said it was a little low, but I was like, let's see if it comes up again. It did indeed come up again. So 4.6 is, is fine. That's solid. Uh, Zarbin requested some beard combing, you betcha. Uh, and Neebsy requested some hydration. Neebsy, thank you. I've just got some good your healthy hydrating water just just water stay hydrated y'all Urail, thank you for the blood sugar check as well i will do so in a little bit once i've had a little more time because there's no point in me checking it again right now but i appreciate it and i will use that in a little Gotta love memes. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I don't know if you're watching, but I appreciate you subscribing. Uh, also, Zarbin's beard comb back. Let's do it. I've got my beard comb right here. It's made of wood. It makes nice sounds. It says, Tame the Wild on it. The wild is my beard. It's a lot less wild than it used to be. Once upon a time, it was like, but uh, I, I've trimmed it back substantially since then. Uh, Kivaspala. Kivaspala, how are you doing? Kivaspala says, Dang Nick, making me sleepy here at 10 a.m. Just waiting to go and pick up my sister from the hospital after she spent the last week there. 35 years and already her second operated spinal disc herniation. Ooh. Hopefully I'm not next as it kind of runs in the family. Well, I guess it's good to know in some way because then you can, I don't know if there's anything preventative that you can do, exercises or, I have no idea. But uh, I do hope that it's something that you can avoid. Um, but uh, I'm glad that you're here with us. I hope this makes your, uh, your uh, weight a little more uh, agreeable and uh, I hope your sister is doing well. I wish her a speedy recovery. Please tell her that all of us, the internet, the entire internet wishes her well. She's already better. Oh, or doing better. That's excellent. I'm very glad. I'm very glad. Okay, so, 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 um, oh, by the way, John, John Wismiller, paging John Wismiller, are you still out there, my friend? I still need to know what kind of name trace you want from, like, hours ago. I'm just checking in periodically to see if John returns. I think John might have fallen asleep, though. <laughs> That is what we're here for, after all. 
Angel Suarez. Thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Fantastic to have you here. Welcome, welcome. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed the beard combing. And Marwan L. Rif Rifai? Rifai? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for the sub on YouTube as well. Welcome on in. Okay. Back to Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> Bot spot. Oh my gosh. Angel just joined us and Bot spot is already uh, just corrupting the first thing that Angel has said. Angel just said thanks. Bot spot turned it into butts. Classic Bot spot. Classic. You must pardon the Bot spot. Please excuse the Bot spot. He is a sniper. Butt spot is savage. Savage. Oh, look, more dead adventures. Oh yeah, I guess I should probably turn my interface back on. There we go. Yeah, sure. Stick whatever he's got on. We are the murder hobos. Murder hoboiest of murder hobos. Uh God, there's a lot of dead adventurers around here. It's actually starting to concern me slightly. <laughs> Why are there so many dead adventurers around here? They're all wearing awesome, cool stuff, too. Oh, I'm wearing awesome, cool stuff. What's that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? This one's got a really cool helm, a spellbinder runic helm. I don't even know why mods add these. They look cool as heck. Oh boy. Oh, this guy's definitely gonna hit you. Hit you. I knew it. Murder. Murder. <laughs> Shargrim, did you call that technique? you find it hilarious that over the years that I've been playing on the save, we've transitioned from, I'm gonna be sneaky and like stabby to, I'm just gonna run up straight into the face of every enemy, aggro them, and my, my crew is just gonna wreck them hit them like a freaking freight train wow, there's a lot more dead folks around here boss marine engraved armor ebony mage stuff Tribunal robes. Wow, there's a lot of dead adventurers in here. <sighs> wow. Oh, we got a Falmer chest. War Chief Heavy Battleground. You see, though, this is why I just jacked up my inventory carry weight to be unreasonably high because otherwise. I it would take me forever to like loot all this stuff and get through it all. And I'm not just going to leave perfectly good loot sitting around, you know. So, instead, I just pick up literally everything. <laughs> and then deal with my inventory like once a year. <sighs> oh, hello, Miko. You're not a dead adventure. Oh, fuck, or I'm using a lot of mods. Yeah, this whole adventure we're on right now is a mod um, called Worm's Tooth. The Y, W Y R M, worms. Whoa, whoa. Wow, dragon. Oh, whoa. Yes, worms tooth like your bookworms. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. This this dragon that's been t kicked our butts and then taunted us to come out here. We finally found it. No wonder there's so many dead adventures around. Uh, explain yourself, dragon. Why have you lured this one here? Oops. 
Oh wait, why are you trying to raise an undead army? So he wants to bring back the dragons. That's that's fair. I, I can understand where he's coming from. <laughs> once a year seems generous, eyelash. Okay, once every three years then. How about that? <laughs> Time to get him. That's right, bookworms tooth. Correct, Valcor. Yeah, that's the main mod, the adventure that we're on here. But I also have a bunch of other mods that add various kinds of armor. So they could honestly be from pretty much anywhere. Uh, I, but if you want to know about a specific one, just let me know. And I can look it up. Yeah, time to get him, Naga. Yo, what's up, Jake? Good to see you. Welcome on in. I do not think that this one will fall so easily, Dragon. Motmahos, yeah, that's me. dead adventurers here not leaving perfectly good stuff on the ground <laughs> this is cool armor oh nice now we get to fight an army of naked dudes update say? Did it say we were supposed to try and run away somewhere? Uh, or did it say that we are okay and defend Stone Hollow from Vulthurkra? Wait, where did he go? Stone Hollow. Is that like the main town on this island? I don't know. We'll keep looting and then we'll go later. <laughs> we'll, save the, we'll save the world after I've picked up all the sweet loot. Let me know if it's getting too loud, y'all. <laughs> this is hilarious. It is pretty, pretty loud, pretty fighty right now, so... Yeah, do let me know if it's getting uncomfortably loud. Apparently I can't go in there. Okay, where do we have to go? This way? Oh. Hello? Is this part of my gang? What is going on here? Activate button. We got some potions up here. Oh, more fallen adventures. Okay, well, I guess we fought off the naked army. Oh wait, there's another one here. The, the solid quote, Sargon. Thank you. Attractive says, currently eating Easter eggs and watching my favorite stream. Life is good. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we can give you a good, good chill evening. What is going on down here? This is a mess. I think we did. Oh no, there's some adventures we hadn't looted here yet. I think we've picked up enough here, at least. I don't know, we've got some more. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to pick up all this stuff. But I can, so I did. I'm not sure also if I'm supposed to be able to open this at all, but it looks like I can't. I think this is supposed to take us back to the surface. But let's, yeah, let's go back up here. Let's see, there's a big button. Should I talk to these guys? What's up? I guess not. There we go. Oh, 
that's just something she says at the end of combat. Okay, what happens if we activate the button? Press that button. What did it do? It made the thingies go spinny. Okay, what does this do? Maybe this opened. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait, that's this door. Okay. Maybe I opened this thing down here. Oh, it did. Perfect. Okay. Good. Good, good. All right. I think this will bring us back up to the surface. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just going to wait for everyone to come on down here. Let's go, gang. Let's go. Come on, Miko. Let's go. I'm just... Whatever, we can probably go to the surface. They'll probably follow. Oh, crap. He crashed again. I think I just quick saved, though. This is very crashy tonight. This mod has... It's totally the fault of this mod, not the fault of the 10,000 items in my inventory. Uh, this mod has been very crashy. Uh, Naga, you are right. <laughs> what, eyelash? What are you bonking me about? Uh, Naga, you are right that I think this fight was designed with the enemies having armor in mind. I think you are correct. I don't think they expected some mad lad to go around and strip all of them before the fight. <laughs> what do you know? My hoarding tendencies made that fight a lot easier than it otherwise might have been. Turned out it was the right choice. Game's still loading up again. We will at least get back to the surface tonight, I think. Hopefully I just quick saved. I think I had. I've been quick saving quite a lot, given how crashy it's been. Gonna make a whole new island. <laughs> what if we did? What if we did come out on a whole new island with a whole new dungeon like this? What if? Alright, game's back. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Okay, yeah, I had a quick save just up here. The save game is so scuffed, you guys. I do I do want to throw out there. I know it seems awfully crashy. Um, but this save game is from 2018. It has come across from a different PC, a different installation of Skyrim. I managed to bring that whole mod list over and the save game and we've been playing it for all those years. And yeah, now we're on a totally new machine. So the fact that it works at all is actually kind of amazing. Actually kind of amazing. It's like your character just blacked out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, press that button. And try this again. All right. I think I think this was after I had gone and grabbed all the armor. I know it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Stop, Nick. Stop. You have to let it go. You have to let it go. It doesn't matter. You'll never wear it. Okay. Um, a quick save. And we're going to go up to the surface. I hope. I hope. dude's talking to us he's outside of this cage here but i can't move right now because i'm in a dialogue 
and all of my my crew is around me like pushing me around <laughs> walking in front of me uh y you sound concerned about something this is the guy who hired us to do this job in the first place to come slay this dragon I'm not sure if this gate is supposed to be open. <laughs> this is very awkward just talking to this dude through this gate. Uh, the dragon aims to raise an army of fallen warriors to storm Tamriel. Uh oh, it's gonna kill all the Imperials. See you, bud. Oh, what? Is this all the Imperials? Who, who are these? Yeah, Imperial soldiers. Wait, so what are we actually supposed to be doing here? Yeah, let's do a save game. Now that we're out here, he's just shy. He's just like, I'm just gonna just like hide behind this tree. Just like poke up from behind this tree. Okay, it is pouring rain out here. Oh gosh, dragon's over there. Okay, all right. Defend Stone Hollow. Okay, we just better head over there, I guess, and fight a dragon. Uh, where are we? Okay, Dwemer Lift. And Stone Hollow's down there. Okay, defend Stone Hollow from Vulthrukra. Vulthrukra. All right, we better get, get down there. Ah, uh, awa, awakate, awakat, uh, awakate. Ah, uh, uh, I'm afraid I I can't read that. Sorry, I only speak English. My apologies. But uh, welcome. Uh, can anyone, anyone read that? Are they asking if I like crocodiles? I do like crocodiles, yes. <laughs> crocodiles are very cool. Megusta me, me crocodilos. <laughs> crocodilos, I don't know. Is that right? Uh, Alright, let's go. I sprint faster than this horse. Yo, bro, you okay? Do I know Messi? I know of Messi, but I I don't follow football. But I know he's one of the best players. So I have heard. Urail. Yes, I do forest fire research. That's right. Do I have a favorite tree by chance? Yeah. Um, if I had to pick one favorite tree. Oh, I see. Yeah, dragon's over there. Okay, we're making our way down to Stone Hollow here. Oh, that's, that is a tough one. There's a lot of trees I love. I think my favorite, favorite tree, though, would be the Gary Oak. And that's not a Pokemon joke. There's actually a tree called a Gary Oak. Um, and it's, uh, it's native to these parts. And it grows in these meadow habitats. Um, and uh, these meadows are really, really gorgeous. They tend to be full of wildflowers. 
uh, Garyok habitat is quite endangered around these parts uh, because all of the areas that used to be Garyok Meadow uh, have been turned into houses, mostly. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, where's my crew at? I need y'all to help me fight this dragon. <laughs> I can't fight on my own. You expect me to just fight? I don't do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand here and watch my crew. Oh, no, wait, okay. Actually, I can totally attack him from here. Yo! Thank you, Inigo. Thank you. Dragon soul absorbed. Yes, yeah, sorry, your plan didn't work out there. Volcra. Volthurkra. He's got lots of dragon bones. And a sword. Chaos wielder. Creatures and people up to level 40. Frenzy for 30 seconds. Wait, when we first arrived in that dungeon, I think we read something about this sword that was part of the plot. Well, it's ours now. Falkor says, Gary Oaks look like Halloween trees, all gnarly and excellent for climbing. Exactly. I love them for that reason. I love Gary Oak branches silhouetted against the sky, or even better, the moon. It's an aesthetic, and I love it. The dragon is dead. I could hardly believe it. We've finally done it then. It's over. By Zenitar, you really are dragonborn. It's well, true. I guess the next great challenge will be getting this town back on its feet. At least with a legion of Imperial soldiers here, we should be able to get that done much quicker than I would have expected. Once the houses are rebuilt, we'll need to bring over new miners. Ten thousand gold. You've earned it. <laughs> and my gratitude. Ten thousand gold. It'll do. It'll do. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kajit. Or mm, let's see. And this one was glad. How do you say when you, if the Kajit has multiple eyes in a sentence? I don't know. I'm a Khajiit speak expert. Khajiit was glad to be able to help. I don't know if that's true. did it pardon me wow that was actually the culmination of a lot of adventuring it took us a long time to get through that dungeon wow yeah the town is uh, not in great shape we are freezing let's go stand over here but it sounds like it sounds like we are able to stay here and uh, continue questing if we want to um, because they're going to need a lot of help with the cleanup after this town got wrecked by the dragon. 
also there's just a lot of land mass here that we have not explored so uh there's more to do out here in worm's tooth but um we've completed the main quest it's nice to come to the end of something which happens so rarely in our games because <laughs> they're always just i don't know we don't actually get a whole lot accomplished in these streams usually so bees are live thank you for the follow and uh welcome on in uh he kind of was a pushover these animations are more way more goofy than you remember your l yeah well you know it's 12 years old now um yeah i don't think they expected me to have my entire crew here the developer of this mod but oh well Bruce says, I'm a big fan of the manzanita tree. Yes, up here we call them Arbutus, Arbutus trees. They're gorgeous as well. Another one of my favorites. They like to grow on dry, rocky sites, shallow soils. They thrive there, but their most characteristic feature is their uh, amazing bark. It is very papery. Um, they have this incredibly smooth, smooth, um, you know, bark underneath. Um, they're gorgeous trees. Beautiful wood too, very dense, um, and they're evergreen. They have these sort of leathery green leaves, um, waxy green leaves that uh, they they do drop them, but uh, they do also have foliage all year round. In theory, um, yo, life with Nick and Haley over on YouTube. Hello, this is Skyrim. This is Skyrim, but it's just a Skyrim mod. It's called Worm's Tooth, and it adds a whole new uh, place, a whole new area, a big island. We just finished the main quest, but there's lots more to see and do here. Uh, but it's definitely worth checking out if you like a good uh, Skyrim quest mod. Also, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's great to have you here, Life with Nick and Haley. I know you've been around in the comments. Uh, for a long time, so it's it's cool to have you join us here on stream. Sailor Moon Kitty, I'm glad you like the ears. Not sure what that was. <laughs> um, Sarah doing something, I guess. Um, I know, right? Our attractive coming out of the depths and finally getting to uh, breathe some fresh air, even if it's very dark out. It's such a relief. Warm up by this fire as the snow falls and the wind blows. We did it. Man talks so much crud to you that you destroyed him straight up. Oh, I love nighttime ambiance in this game. Attractive. This music. This music speaks to my soul. Uh, bakery guy, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you made it. We're going to be wrapping up very shortly, but I'm glad you made it, at least for the end of the stream. Valkor says, yes, Arbutus. I didn't know they were also called Manzanita. Yeah. I think it just depends on what what part of the, the coast you're in. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Unless, hold on one second. One second. I'm pretty sure, though, uh, that it is the same thing. You know what? I lied. <laughs> or did I? The name Manzanita, okay, no, I didn't lie, is also sometimes used to refer to species in the related genus Arbutus, which is known by that name in the Canadian area of, area of the trees range but is more usually known as Madrona. Okay, so that's why I'm confused. So it sounds like, so, okay. So the Manzanita shrub I'm also familiar with. It looks kind of Arbutus-like, but it's small and shrubby, but similarly grows in really dry sites, has a very smooth red bark, quite Arbutus-like, but the Arbutus trees it sounds like I'm more commonly called Madrone or Madrona in the States. 
So Bruce, I'm not sure which one you're referring to. But around here, the distinction is Arbutus is the tree, and I guess Manzanita is the shrub. Sorry, that was my confusion. Bruce says, I know they look red and have winding trunks and branches, but they're big, right? They're like trees, not shrubs. You're thinking of the trees. Falkor says, you're making me want to boot up Skyrim, even though I'm right back in the thick of Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, it never hurts to go visit Skyrim. I always say, you know, Skyrim, it always feels like going to a place. It's not necessarily a even just a game you play, it's a place you go back to. Um, and it's very special for that reason. Our tractus is sometimes I just load into Skyrim just to walk around in the forest and enjoy the music and sounds. 100%. Hey, it's an ego uh, warming himself in the fire. <laughs> an ego, you might want to. Oh, I'll just step back there, bro. That looks very toasty. Totally attractive. That's one of the things I love the most about Elder Scrolls games, Skyrim in particular, and I really hope, again, we were discussing earlier in the stream, what do we want out of Elder Scrolls 6 whenever it eventually drops? I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know, but I do know that I want the chance to just get lost and wander and come across cool stories, beautiful places. It's definitely uh, something I I love about these games. Bruce uh, said the big trees. Okay, so Arbutus was correct then, yeah. Yeah, it's a little confusing that the Manzanita can refer to the tree or the shrub. But I'm glad we're on the same wavelength then. Well, we were talking about the same thing. Uh, bakery guy says, I usually be asleep by now, but I decided to have coffee late night, so I'm wide awake. Uh-oh. I, too, am caffeine sensitive, and so, uh, yeah, coffee late at night just is not good for me. That uh, would, would do the same to me. I cannot have coffee after sort of late afternoon, or else it'll definitely keep me up. Um, Falcor says, does Inigo have a giant candy cane? He absolutely does, yeah. Yeah, that came from, uh, one of the Christmas mods we played one year. We kind of have a, an annual tradition of trying to find a Christmassy mod around Christmas time and play through it. Uh, I think we've kind of gone through all the ones that we could find, but there have been some really weird ones. <laughs> There's been some. There was one that was basically just a straight up fever dream. It was... I think it was called Insanity Claws. I think it was called Insanity Claws. There's some wild mods out there. We've been on some crazy adventures. And yes, Inigo rolls with the candy cane. It's the best sword that I had for him at the time. I should probably check to see if I've got anything better. Backlit asks, do you have hope for Elder Scrolls 6 after Starfield? <laughs> we had this chat earlier and uh, you, you probably weren't here, that's fine, but uh, the long and short of it is I have less confidence than I did that it's, you know, that Bethesda will be able to deliver what I want with Elder Scrolls 3, or Elder Scrolls 6, but I still have hope. I still have hope. I think it will be impossible for them to meet people's expectations, impossible for them to satisfy everyone, but I do think there's still a chance that they make a good game. So I still have hope. That's right, Bruce. Inigo's surname is Montoya. You killed his father. Prepare to die. <laughs> hey, quote 124. That's just, uh, that's just good advice. That's just good advice. Yeah, backlit. I do think that this still has a good game in them. I think there's a lot of passion and talent there. I don't know if it will be able to be brought to bear uh, on Elder Scrolls 6, and I don't know whether they'll be willing to change their you know, development style enough to make the game feel modern in a way that it will need to. But, um, but we'll see. 
I still have hope. Dang, Bakery Guy, there are so many good games out there, more than ever before. Definitely. Just any, like, I don't know, try something else that's totally different than something you've ever played, but that just speaks to you, that just seems interesting. Just give it a shot. There's so many incredible indie games out there that are unbelievable and that are often really inexpensive. Buttspot continuing to take no prisoners. Buttspot has been on a tear tonight. Oh, hey, Life with Nick and Haley on YouTube said, cool, buddy. I wanted to ask, how's your PhD going? <laughs> uh, it's done. It's done, Life with Nick and Haley. Yeah, I finished it up. Gosh, like, technically I finished it a year ago now, or a little, a little over a year ago, but I actually only formally graduated, had my ceremony and all that back in June last year um but yeah since then i have found some uh temporary employment doing uh the kind of stuff that i you know, went to school for but uh that might turn into something more longer term soon i should be finding out very soon actually so fingers crossed No, attractive. I didn't even realize you could run over a bunny in this game. I did not know. That's tragic. Uh, Backlit93 Butt Spot is a bot that replaces the things you say with butt. So it just repeats back the things you say, but randomly adds butt in to replace syllables. It is very funny. The peak of hilarity and uh, a long time bot in this community. <laughs> that spot is a bot who bots comments, that's correct. All right, friends. Well, speaking of being done my PhD and working in my field, my field happens to include having to write a lot of papers, which involves revising a lot of manuscripts. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I've got to finish a whole bunch of manuscript revisions to uh, get a paper out. Uh, which is very, very close, very close to done. So I really hope they will accept it and it'll get published. I need to get that in by Tuesday. So tomorrow's a busy day, so I better get to bed. But my dear friends, I appreciate you being here so very much. Thank you as always for coming along on these adventures with me. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend, fantastic Easter, if you celebrate or observe that. Uh, and a great April Fool's Day. Just remember, take everything with a grain of salt today. Everything. <laughs> and uh, chances are I won't be streaming this coming Thursday, but there's a possibility. I will remind you again that for now, for the time being, just assume I'm not streaming on Thursdays, but if I will be streaming, I will announce it on my Discord or on my Facebook, or my Facebook, my YouTube community page. So, uh, you can, uh, you know, hit the bell on YouTube or join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord in the chat to make sure you get those notifications. And it'll be a pleasant surprise if I do stream this Thursday. But it should be streaming next Sunday for sure, a week today. Um, what else? Oh, there is a new video up for you on YouTube tonight. Do go check it out. It's a Microsoft Flight Simulator tour flying over Japan. I was lucky enough to visit Japan last year, and so in this video, we fly over Mount Fuji, we fly over Kyoto, and I talk about some of the sort of history and culture of those places, some of the things I saw and experienced while I was there, and we get to enjoy the beauty of Japan from the skies. I think it's pretty relaxing, soft-spoken, and uh, that's up tonight on the YouTube channel, so do go check. Thank you, Buttspot. Thank you, Buttspot. Very cool. Who we raiding tonight? A great question. A great question. Let's see who is streaming tonight. And that will dictate who we're raiding tonight. Oh my gosh. Last possible second. Look what the dog dragged in. <laughs> um, 
you see that indigo it says we're getting wet out here waiting for you drake um <laughs> drake wonderful to see you my friend thanks for joining us uh drake you missed you missed so much it's true you missed some real bangers tonight it's okay though it's okay i'm just glad you made it i'm glad you made it uh shout out to our boy drake honestly he's some artist just the coolest dude go follow him I don't need to tell you any more than that. Go follow him. If you like Microsoft Flight Simulator ASMR, definitely go follow him. Um, all right. You know who's streaming tonight? Queen Toasty. Queen Toasty is uh, super awesome, super nice, super funny, super tingly. I love Toasty. Uh, I love her community. Uh, it also says baby's first stream anniversary. That's very exciting. So let's go. Ray toasty, shall we? Let's do it. I'm sure you will love the vibes over there. You will love the vibes over there. Um, let's go. Let's go. She is accepting raids. Excellent. Pile on in, my friends. If you are on Twitch, you can join us just by hanging out in the chat for the next 30 seconds or so. If you are on YouTube, you can come on over to the Twitch chat and you get to meet Queen Toasty and her wonderful community. So, come on over join us in the raid uh, and by joining us in the raid you will get some extra channel points as well so it's kind of fun i meet some new cool people phase beast phase beast good night thanks for joining us appreciate it shout out to all our youtube viewers always a pleasure to have you here thank you for being so well behaved shout out to the vod viewers as well in the distant future thanks for tuning in in the future thank you for our prospective and of course, Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Love you guys. Thank you for being amazing. A huge, huge thank you to our incredible moderators. We could not do this without them. They are so kind and giving of their time to make this a better place. Shout out to uh, all those who are out tonight. Eyelash, uh, Nicoma, Gracie, Drake, here now, and any others that I may have not seen. We love you guys. And shout out, go follow Falcor. She's fantastic. Go follow. Go follow. Alright. Night guys. Night Drake. Bakery guy. Falcor. Dead boy Jovi. Attractive. See you next time. Good night, Wolf ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>